Ready or not, here I come. Happy flat a day, guys, and flat thumbs to one and all. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm super stoked, guys. As you can see, it's FBB flat a day special. What is so special? The epic, fantastic week that it, the week that has been flat Earth British. We have had so much fun. We've had a few really, really cool posts. We've had an epic shout as well. Um, I did an interview last night, a really long one that will be presented probably maybe tomorrow, but in the very near future. And tonight, and tonight. Now we are an out of control roller coaster at the moment. Now this post will make you feel a little bit puffed out. In fact, it will feel like a roller coaster, an emotional roller coaster ride. I'm gonna take you, take you to the top, baby. <laughs> What I'm going to do is I'm going to make you really, really happy, okay? Because I love you all. And I'm going to make you feel a little bit sad, but only in a good way. But don't cry. I'll be with you holding your hand, okay? And much juicage that is going to spatter your Brian, okay? She sells, sea, she sells seashells on the seashore, okay? And when we look into this, all of this, which I'm going to show you, you will be shell shocked. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> anyway, peace and love to you all. Flat thumbs. Let's have an epic night. Zero facts will be given. Um, is the only rule. <laughs> okay, we don't do rules is for fools, yo. Okay, so we don't do that. We just keep our vibration up and we have a fantastic time. We make things happen here on Flat of British. Okay, because no one's going to do it for us. And apparently, apparently, as far as I can see, this is the resistance. This is <laughs> humanity's last hope, guys. So let's let's um you know rise up to the Mac, shall we? <laughs> All things considered. <laughs> so yeah, this will be a fantastic post. It's going to be funny, it's going to be classy. Okay, so we do like a bit of etiquette and class on Flat of British. And um hope you will enjoy. I do strive to um, sort of improve my videos and all that for you and myself uh, and just be better, you know, show them how it's done, you know, <laughs> is what, what we try to achieve. So we'll do that. So it has been a fantastic week. We'll talk about it all now. <laughs> and I'll give you all a few shouts. So first one first is the Jazz Soldier one, who is my epicest friend, Melage. So fat thumbs, Mel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Dick, he's here. Dick Richards, Moon Peach, good to see you. Lovely. Um, Daniel Pollock is here. Uh, Panama is here. We are the juice. You're getting it at last. We had a wicked shout, Flat Earth British Think Tank, which is all of us this week, um, by Eric Dubé, who's given us a bit of um, recognition, I guess, for all the work we do in the you know, in the flat earth movement, which we do. And we have been slogging away at tirelessly for six years solid now with hardly any breaks. And I tell you what, most people suffer effy burnout after like six weeks, you know, they, they crawl away, they, they lay in their bed. Oh no, please no more. And then they come out like weeks later, like, you know, like they've been to rehab or something, you know, <laughs> I've had none of that. It's just been the whole way with them um, out any, um, you know, F I don't, take effie burnout time because it's not required okay actually because it's all his mind <laughs> there's my epic brother from new zealand who is the felon shows dave fuck the system you're proper punk rock you are they love that emma coombs love jeffrey griffin zero fucks given wise words we were we are striving for wisdom okay and they're the wisest words so <laughs> Teresa, who is it be shake, was enjoying a lovely sunny day in West Wales. It wasn't so nice here today, but maybe summer will arrive soon. Who knows? Marcus, good to see you. Marcus Aurelius. Sire. <laughs> uh, Jan here. Good to see you again, Jan. Uh, Streets of Tataria. Oh, that would be a wicked title for an album. Yeah, a music album. Imagine a Tatarian cover for an album. The whole Tatarian genre. Yeah, which is like multi-spectrum, more than any other genre on earth. <laughs> it's fantastical. Um, that kill it. That is. That's a brilliant song title. In the streets of Tataria. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, that'd be brilliant. Brian Tucker. Take no notice if I just go completely mental. This is just me, okay? 
John Club. Brian Burada Bachin, who is in Welsh lands. No duck, duckins, ducks. Do ducking ducks. I don't know. I think that's a colloquial term for zero fucks given. Squirrel sniper Mike, a corner of the box. Okay, drop the box, drop the mic, drop the mic, which we will do at the end of this. Drop the mic. So yeah, do stick to stick around at the end because we've got some beautiful film uh, made by yours truly, and we have usage. And strange thoughts, stuff that we never thought before, stuff that is definitely a thing, okay, in our field. And I will show you all now. And it is what we never knew about the seashell and its properties, which some are magical, some are healing, and some are uh, very interesting indeed in the way in, way in terms of technology. And we'll look into that in a minute, okay? Um, and a thousand things besides. I can't even believe all the stuff that I'm going to be showing you. Uh, Chris Vesalis. So, yeah, we've had a fantastic week. I'll show you what we've been up to now. Okay. Um, on Flat Earth British. She's been busy. No, I had a, an epic little hangout last night for about three hours with a gentleman in England who does sort of health stuff, which is really interesting. And we'll talk about that a bit later. Um for five of British peeps, okay? Because we want to be all like, you know, it's all about well-being, isn't it? Better in ourselves. So that is uh, something that I will share with you this week. Dun, 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 dun. Um, sing in our uh, Haven, North Carolina. Good to see you, North Carolina. We love Carolina. We love everywhere, actually. Scandalon. But North Carolina is beautiful. And so is South. Uh, Glee Glow. Uh, did the lasers cross? Don't know what that is. Some sort of testing that I'm unaware of, I guess. Um, I don't actually take no notice of it all anymore. It's a really strange factor. Circle gets the square. I'm too busy anyway, keeping it front of British think tank movement or the resistance going. <laughs> Fantastic. Can't even believe this. Anyway, Kay Kruffman, good to see you. Q Essence, good to see you. Um, they choked up all the dust. Okay, let's give you um, a little rundown of what I've been up to this week, or we've been up to. Um, Lindsay Ashcroft, good to see you. Hugs from Windy City, where it's awfully pretty, but they ain't got what we got. Loads of weed. <laughs> um, I am Sh Lord Shri. Harry Harry. Um, howdy. That's not a very Harry Harry thing to say. Howdy, is it? Um, <laughs> Truth Tainment. Um, Kids of Tataria, 1980s, Kim Wilde. Kim Wilde's still looking lush. She's been on YouTube lately, yeah? She's looking really, really nice. And Kim was epic, yeah? We're the skids in your underpants. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's what we used to sing in school when it was out. But she's only about three, four years older than me. Her father was Marty Wild, So she's in like a dynasty of rock stars or music stars. Marty was pretty good. So, yeah, Kim Wilde was a ledge. Liked her, yeah? yeah she was nice. She was pretty. <laughs> Teddy Tonkin. The Netherlands, good to see you. We love Netherlands. I can swear in Dutch. There's nothing more sexier than I'll be able to swear in loads of languages. I found dry. I can swear in loads of languages. Okay. Hofferdomer. I oh, know. The shock on your face. That's like really innocent in Britain. Nobody would even bat an eyelid, but it's like you've said the worst thing in the world if you're in Holland. It's like, <laughs> really, it's, it's really weird. Um, they just don't have, there's some languages, like my father's nationality, Estonian. They had hardly any swear words. You never, ever heard my father swear, ever, you know? God, he was alive. Flat Earth dudes, see me and you, yeah, or us, Flat Earth British Think Tank and you. We had a show on the end of Eric, accredited on the end of Eric Dubay's movie, The Level. Yeah, we love you, Flat Earth dudes. You know we love you, don't you? We all do. When I seen you, I was like, yeah, that makes perfect sense. Yeah, because you're Flat Earth dude. Fucking legend. Earthling here, let's share. Mike James, uh, Chubby, Chubby, or oh, Chubby, you Chubby, <laughs> um, Flat Earth Space Agency. Good, we need one. Have we got a national anthem? Tataria Melted this year. We love Norway too. Good to see you. Jugged this year, or Jugged. Okay, good to see you as well. Um, Jay Ollie, um, the pun, oh, no, don't worry about that. Don't give me your energy. Don't even talk about it. Okay, we're just laughing at everything. Okay, because we can. Okay, especially all of the weird bullshit that's happened. We don't even think about it. See, it's epic, isn't it? 
Yeah, a world of sanity. Um, Annie, Anna, look, if you think about it all, you can drive Brian up the wall because none of it makes any sense and it's not meant to because gaslights in everyone. So you don't get into it in the first place, like any of it, because all lies and bullshit anyway. And considering all his minds and there's nothing really up there in the external world, I wouldn't even worry about it. Ravine, love you too, my brother. Thank you so much. That is you, for your icon, isn't it? Before I got that all wrong. Um, Ravine, much love to you. Thank you, brother. Um, and oh, good to see you as well. I've seen you chatting away for ages in chat before the show. And that is you from St. Louis. Meet me in St. Louis. And Ian and Dragon Sage and S. Ooh, fuck me. And catch you. Many blessings, Kat. Not blessings, many bless up it things. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Brian Tuck is here. I was Brian, Brian. Tin Whistler. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be difficult to get through all of this. I'm telling you now, guys. Just hold on to your hats, okay, is all I can say. So we're going to start, I rest. I reckon. Let me just compose my shit before I lose it. Oh, what's that? Peas and gravy, Symphio. Do you know what the best word in the world, world is? When Mel says house or house. It's like really brilliant. Um, one, 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 sure. Oh, it's 492 years. Oh, yeah. Welcome on um, um, Flat Earth News and Reports. Okay. If you're a flat earther, you're going to love this. <laughs> listen, listen. I'm, an, I'm a purveyor, and I always have been with every aspect of my life, actually, guys, forever. Um, is strike while the iron's hot. Now is our time. We got these fuckers up against the ro ropes, and we're giving them uppercuts deep, right? We're really, really fucking hurting them. And they're like, I can't breathe. I can't breathe about to throw in the white towel but we don't do white towel rules because we don't recognize you okay so it's just keep on fucking punching them okay until it's all over and they go away already <laughs> anyway let me compose myself now is your chance who said that who said that i am creative good to see you as well um la young good to see you glad to glad you're here too I'm grateful for every person that joins and all of the happiness that we can share with one another. Okay. Just somebody just said in the chat then. They're on their own all the time. And the only sort of outlet they have is here. So let's make the fucking most of it. Let's make it happen. Okay. So you may have seen on my community post. I have been, you know, thinking we should have like flat earth. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> flat of British meat, okay, and a couple of them, and get things moving so we can have some sort of, you know, meet all one another and just get the family together because we are family. Um, so um, an offer come up for somewhere in the London, which I'm looking into, which I'll keep you posted about, which is really interesting and could get you know considerable amount of people uh, to turn up, and um, I'm already probing um, other venues as well try and get something kicking off for us also um midsummer's eve um i will be up north as without any doubts um i may have a little thing there as well we're working on it summer solstice is squirrel squirrel lives local -age, um so to the midlands so i guess squirrel that would be epic if we could meet up squirrel oh you know it um in now is only place to be fat thumbs you fucking know it Okay, let's get it. Let's get into this. Okay, Whew. this is gonna this is gonna be crazy. Okay, so buckle in. Seashells. Well, they're a bit boring, in they? They're a bit innocent, aren't they? They're a bit like you know, not doing much, are they? Just piling up on the beach. Pfft. Not on your Nelly. Not on your Nelly. What we didn't know and what we will learn today. You will learn more about shells than you've ever learned in your whole life in the next half hour or so. <laughs> Buckle in. Okay, so this is what we've been up to this week. I'll just give you a rundown because if you um, are not up to speed with Flat Earth British things, you are actually missing out, okay? Because we do use on our other channels. Now, we got this back um, a week ago. So we did a comeback thing where um, I had a stupid generic email off Mick Jagger blowing smoke up my ass like he fucking knew me, um, asking me, did I want his autograph? No, I don't. I don't even like you. Um, you may be all right. I don't know. I'll give you a chance if you stop being the devil's bitch and comes over on the right side. Anyway, apart from that, posted this 
yesterday okay so um fep extra splats okay like shit splats in um in his case and um, neil degrasse tyson he's crying no don't, no don't feel sympathy and mercy no no let him cry okay and he shits his pants publicly in front of the whole world and has to change his, his bullshit and what I'm you get it. um We're i showed cold. you ooh, um on flat earth british um only a day ago is um these two people are talking like they're in kindergarten and just uttering utter buffoon in us so um but we do get to the end of the movie and we get a little shortage so i was bubbling about that um it's nice rec recognition there we are and you're on here as well dude so it's dave murphy we are change it okay there you all are there look i can see you all Okay, I don't know if flat earth what the time is, but sounds funky. Uh Tabu conspiracy, we know. Uh Pilot, TX, TJ Media is epic. Flat earth, dude, you went you came under TJ Media. Wide awake. And Sandra, who is in P900 Cool Picks. And dude, did you were right near near us, flat earth British think tanks. So that makes sense. Yeah. Or fam. And Par Flight of Paradise and Dan Dimension. All makes perfect sense. So that was fantastic. So if you haven't seen that video, I'm still banging juice out on this channel. So make sure to get over there and catch up if you have not. So what we did uh, do in this video here, I forgot to mention, is decode the festoon. So we're busy decoding the architecture. And in this case, the festoon. If I can fucking show you it. Uh, well, don't worry anyway, because I've got some images in there. The festoon, which is the flowers that drop on a classical architectural motifs. So the biggest one of all that we are talking about a lot is the shell. Now, with the Phoenicians and their fishy, watery wickedness and their strange aquatic ceremonies, everything has to be fishy. So these, this is no doubt a shell, but... Also, I noticed that they resemble cobras in some cases, in some cases feathers. But, you know, you get the fishies here and this is on top of the building. So um, only this week somebody sent me photographs from the um, second city in, in the Tasmania. And just all over, you know, a box standard block of old flats, there was just, you know, the, the um, shell all over them. As you can see, you get them on all these architectural motifs. And... Well, so in India, you know, it's the same. I can see straight through it. You know, it's the, it's the same people. It's the Phoenicians. People, I say that, you know, very loosely. But, you know, you get the same seashells with the Hindus and with the classical theme, always with the shells. And they have, you know, fountains and inlaid statues. And these inlays, they'll have in indoors in buildings in nearly all of the classical world. Um, where they will place a statue, which maybe they weren't old statues. Maybe there was something else going on with these alcoves um, prior to the reset. And maybe they just put the statues in after. I think these alcoves, they're all over antiquity with the shell on top. But something different. We'll get to it now. And there you see some mermaid playing a bit of music, a sort of melicillin, um, again, with the seashell. But that one's looking a bit more oyster-like. The world is your oyster. Uh, uh, uh. And um, in the Gothic world as well, on this giant door, a door for giants, is the shell theme. And it's always um, above the head, I guess, but with Venus, she stands upon the shell and it rides it as some sort of vehicle. Shells, you can put them to your ear and you can, they say, you can hear the sea. And look at that. It's just a statue with uh, sort of mirrors on it, but it's quite beautiful. I was sent in a while ago by that chap. And the seashell. So it's very, it seems to be important in their architecture, guys. And they all base architecture in the modern day on the shell theme, like the Sydney Opera House, which is seashells. And some designs for modern houses. That is fantastic um, in seashell and just its shape. And some buildings outside will, you know, just basically decorate the entire building with seashells. And you'd be surprised on many of these that are outside where you've got some sort of like seashells attached. Could there be more going on? Could it be conduity? Is there some technology that we don't understand concerning seashells? Yes. And some. Check that out, though. Isn't it beautiful? 
So I do love the beach and I do love to collect seashells. I've always liked seashells. Look at this Phoenician work of art, the mermaid and uh, just gold leaf and beautiful decoration. I guess that's golden jewels. But So as you can see, it, it means a lot. So, oh, excuse me. I just want to get my computer back so I can actually keep an eye on chat. Um, so it's important. It's an important architectural feature. It means something. So let's have a think about its meanings. Now, the shell itself, we'll start here, is made of an interesting substance. Okay, guys. Calcium carbonate. Okay. Now, one thing about calcium carbonate, guys, is most of it will always turn into some sort of limestone. Now, calcium carbonate is a chemical compound, okay? It's a common substance found in rocks as the minerals calcite and agonite, most notably as limestone, uh, which is a type of sedimentary rock consisting mainly of calcite and is the main component of eggshells, snail shells, seashells ooh, excuse me phone just went um uh, pearls which are also really interesting and very sought after by the royals etc and phoenicians uh calcium carbonate is the active ingredient in agricultural lime so it's good for lime and fertilizer and created uh when calcium ions in hard water react with carbon ions to create lime scale also a very interesting substance and is in medical use calcium supplement or as an antacid and excess consumption can be hazardous and cause hypoglycemia and digestive issues now let's move on a little bit and it's the chemical structures geology which is all bogus and some of the applications now it can be used as an aggregate in building the seashell but cement, it can be used in cement in the modern day. And what we're going to find out in a minute is it was really important, along with another substance, which is highly sinister, in Roman cement or concrete. Okay, we're going to look into when all this stuff's around today because it's not 2,000 year old. Um, because they rent, it causes acid rain. They use it in furnaces that I'm aware of. Um, for drilling fluids, uh, like a grinding page, like for grinding valves, etc. Oil industry, swimming pools, okay. Um, and it's used as a raw mineral, refining sugar from from sugar beets. And um, it's in the diet as well. They use it for um, additives in foods as well. Um, calcite, okay, as it says down here. Uh, dietary, okay. So it's, um, it can be used as an antacid um so it has medical applications as well um, and they put it in all sorts of foods as well okay so it's important and it's a thing so i got to thinking hmm, does it have any electrical properties yes it does seashells okay or calcite will uh conduct electricity although it says you're on a Quora that um, they will conduct electricity uh, to some extent uh, well or poorly. But it goes on to say, um, interestingly enough, this might be a big clue that calcium carbonate, if dry um, hyd uh, and hydrosis, uh, then it cannot conduct electricity. But when mixed with water and made like a paste, it can. So when wet, or uh, when in this sort of paste or when in seawater it becomes highly conductive but is conductive and limestone has conductive properties also as crystalline structure etc now there's a miracle going on as well with the shell science hasn't got a frigging clue about how its lattice um comes about it's just bit one of those things that bursts out the ether. I think we can work it out between us right now. So um, applications for calcium carbonate. Well, yeah, it's used in electronics. They use it in a cable application for better electrical properties with cable, higher glass. Um, and I'm, I'm thinking it's a coating, that white stuff you see um, for in all cabling and for... Um, 
under, underwater, if you use calcium carbonate and underwater cabling, this is going to be fantastic. So what I got to thinking, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Let's think in terms of circuit board cities. We'll get to that in a minute. Now, there's a type of concrete they built in America, and it's called tabby concrete. There's other forms of this concrete, guys, um, in the world today. And but this one I thought was interesting because of the clues that it gives. Tabby concrete is a type of concrete made of burnt oyster shells to create the line. Okay. Then it's mixed with water and sand and ash and then broken broken oyster shells. Tabby was used, they say, by Spanish settlers. Okay, they're saying the colonials, so we know who. Um, in present day, North Carolina and Florida and British colonists um, use this. Now, I've seen this and I did a vlog about it. This is the same stuff that they used on Fort Sumter. And this is why they couldn't penetrate it. The cannonballs were just embedding into it because it, it had some give. Yeah. So I thought, well, that's interesting. So this has, you know, properties, conductive properties um, in the shell. Um, in the actual mortar itself. So that's the building, the mortar. Let's not leave anything out with this circuit board city lack. Oh, that's interesting. Date 1840. Okay. So tabby mortar is a mortar um, associated in North Africa with the Moors, and it's used everywhere else as well. There's places all over the world that they put shells in the mortar. More. Okay. Other applications for seashells. Now, there are many. Now, they used it for currency. Okay, they used it for currency. You could have bought a country with shells, cowardly shells, back in the day. Okay, there they are. So they were used as an exchange mechanism. Now, I'll give you a couple of ideas of what shells can do. So they used as a current C. This is where the word comes from. You know how many times you've said, oh, i got to pay that bill. i got to shell out. Where do you think that's coming from? You had to shell out, guys, because it's currency, because it's shells, and you've got to shell out. Okay, we're getting that. So um, they're magic chimes as well. You can put them up in the garden, and they vibrate at a specific frequency because of this strange latticework, which we're going to look into in a minute. Uh, shells uh, could have been um, maybe some communication as well, because they tell us you can hear it from... Um, when you put it to your ear, um, maybe there's some clues that these could have been maybe speakers or amplifiers. As crazy as this sounds, I'll show you the clues in a minute. Cosmic carbonate is a great conductor, which we just found out. So that'd be interesting through the whole of um, the so-called Roman world or the classical world, which is Greece, Rome, apparently Troy, Carthaginians, etc. Um, has conductive properties. Now, isn't that a bit of a splat? Um, so the Phoenicians used shells, the Romans, they call, in their mortar. And it's another ingredient, which is why it's all still around today. Um, cement as well. It's called C, like the C, and ment, mind. C mind. The cement is called C mind. And it has conductive properties. Okay, the penny will start to drop soon. <laughs> anyway. Some of the meanings of it architecturally would be that it means solitude and independence and self-reliance. And I got to thinking, well, are the Phoenicians talking about themselves, that they are solitude, you know, keep to themselves, maybe, um, independence, surely, and because um, they live off us, um, and self-reliance, well, maybe not. Um, the shell is also, um, uh, also meanings of lady pats okay J jugs and lady gardens as well which is well known and venus who sails on a shell which possibly maybe it's a craft so let's have a think about this look at the evidence okay so remember buildings when buildings are being built they have a shell buildings have a shell ships have a shell just like a shell has a exoskeleton which we'll look into in a minute okay and in world war one and world war two the shells the drops and give you shell shock they're also bombs so um some of the cool things uh seashells will do so there's a mythology they've been around this mythos for thousands of years okay look at these beautiful examples anyway healing properties they give an energetic frequency that invokes calmness okay physical healing it gives you emotional healing these are really good to wear by the way 
and spiritual healer as well with um it sort of aligns your chakras if placed on your body the same way as crystals do isn't that interesting and heals and balances chakras that is very very interesting metaphysical properties hmm. shell is exceptional in assisting in memory and dream invoked it will help one memorize things as well as help to uh inter excuse me interpret at any acceptable symbolism and enlightens where in painful excuse me enlightens where uh, painful parts of self that are hiding in the subconscious mind or realm so basically it makes you face all of those things that maybe you've had to do in the past to survive in this realm so yeah that's some sort of cleansing process so is that the importance <sighs> i don't know i'm not sure let's have a look at some she shells seashells and have a look at some of the applications because there are so so many so i think one of the best applications or one of the more sensical applications are this for beach wear yeah the, the shells just fit absolutely perfectly and guys they're aligning your chakra yo yeah you just saying this should be brought up big way everyone should be wearing shell clothes from now on and i don't mean shell shoot sell shell suits because they were really really bad um so these are these shell currencies these beautiful little shells here were used to trade in west africa um yeah, the significance of cowrie beads. You could apparently buy anything with cowrie beads back in the day. Just a sack of cowrie beads and you could buy a small nation. These were worth a lot in today's sort of, I guess, um, conversion. So you can there painted shells would look beautiful painted, no doubt about it. And in the movies, and there's a film called Demolition Man with Sylvester Stallone, and they have three shells in the movie and um, you've got to work out what they're for so i'm not sure if that's the idea behind the shell in the architecture um beautiful scrimshaw um, on a shell as well so that would take some doing wouldn't it pearl necklace squirrel um well it's just, it's a clue the pills are a clue as well okay let me get to it let me get to it so um shells could they be um some sort of speaker some sort of uh, communication device in the Phoenician world and just shaped like a shell. But there's no mistaking the miracle of it because this shell here is displaying the golden ratio exquisitely. In fact, it is the golden ratio. And they will all do it. And what we're looking at here is science of Tatarian alchemy, of, of, of the ether, you know, the fractal nature of this place. Look, the fractal. It's, rep it's replicating itself perfectly every single time, a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller, just like plants do. So um, scientists will admit they freely don't know how this exoskeleton comes about. The lattice work, um, we do, because as soon as we see it, we'll know. Yeah, just think in the terms of um, geometry and radio radiolariums maybe as well. Yeah, and you'll see. So, yeah, the pill. The pearl. The pearl is definitely sought after and it's, it's, it's traps in the digestive system of an oyster, um, sand particles, and makes these beautiful pearls. You can go and um, pearl uh, get in, in uh, Wales um, going through oysters, and you can eat the oysters. They make you horny, apparently. So I won't be eating any of them. Um, horny ones as well. <laughs> And ones that look like butterflies, but you know, it's just the beautiful geometry. No doubting, guys, shells are beautiful. The colors are just beautiful. Look at them, painted in Delft. Ah, and another lady who has some common sense, she's going to bash you around the head. I think we should have to mag up on this and examine it a little bit better. Yep, she's looking at you with a stick, she's going to fuck you up with a beach stick or burn it i don't know but she is wise and she uses shell healing also again um also shell oil that's got to be a part this woman that looks really nice i think all ladies should get shell um sort of waistcoaty things yeah not obviously with these couple of dudes but just saying better like that 
That would be perfect. That's all you'd need. Okay? Martin World. And this is this film, uh, Demolition Man, where he had to work out how he wipes his bum with three shells. So maybe one's a scrape, one's a wash, and the other one's like scrape the wash off. That's my theory. They don't cover exactly what happens, but we won't go into that. So yeah, shell up, shell out, shell money. There's the currency of the past. I think we should go back to shell money. I, I don't like crypto anyway, yeah? And these dollars with old Benjamin staring at your ass. Fuck that. I think we should exchange. I'll give you some really, really nice big orange shells and a starfish for that melon. Yes, I, I definitely go for that. So, yeah, they came in like this on the ships. Um, and you could buy a lot of stuff with your old shells. Yeah, it's, it's, it's as much bullshit as modern day currency. That doesn't exist in, anyway. And I think this is definitely more funky. And I'm with it. I like I like shell currency. Um, and with the vibrational qualities of shells, you can keep your, your liquor in there or your, your water or whatever's in there. And it's going to keep it like um, shell juiced up. And the Fibonacci sequence. And you can see this in fossilized form in animites, etc., things like that. And that uh, that pumice, or oh, it's got some gypsum in it, but it's I guess I'm wondering if it's rock out or a little bit soft to pick away at. I really like to see some of that, but that's have you all in. So the Phoenicians, the Romans, um, famed for their concrete that they used, or their cement they used on the Colosseum and all of the antique world. They say makes the hardest concrete it's all still there today as i will show you so they use volcanic pumice which is this stuff here and some seashells so we've got conductive properties i'm guessing this is gypsum volcanic ash and whatever these two are and then any and then you end up with the hardest concrete that sets underwater in fact it sets better underwater than it actually shelter oh very very good one well um you know this is supposed to be roman it's just like you know off a beach somewhere but anyways it's, it's just this this cement this cement and it's still there today because it's that hard so what goes into um the mort uh well it's got the word death in it so dead sea creatures seashells yeah from dead mollusks and etc so that's death so you've got death going in there and bones they put bones into the mort uh, of the classical world. Or animal bones. Did you grind down, say, all of the dead and put them into the walls? Bones also have piezoelectric forces, guys, as we have found out. So you've got the limestone on limestone buildings with conductive properties. And crystalline property in alignments of stones and lattice works anyway. And we find the mortar has conductive properties with seashells. And we find that it has bones in it, but they're not specific, which also have conductive properties. This is like completing the circuit board city, isn't it? It's giving it a lot of extra weight to the realism, isn't it, guys? So um, why put seashells in mortar? Um, it gives it hardening because of this lattice work, which I'll show you now. Look how beautiful that is, guys. Excuse me. So Mother Pearl as well. Yeah, that's fantastic, isn't it? So thanks all for joining. Sorry, I'm just ch chatting away there. 700 and odd of you watching. Absolutely fantastic. You please share this out and get the gang over and we'll have a party because we're going to have a little bit of a giggle later on. That's beautiful. And it looks like a church window. Yes, I know. And guess what? Yes, they put shells in stained glass. It's included in church windows. I shit if you not. And mother of pill. With many permeations for this used in the antique world. It is fantastic and beautiful. There's no doubt about it. Love that it iridescence or incandescence. So yeah, I always love mother of pearl. I had a mother and pearl ashtray years ago, but uh, uh, absolutely beautiful. And uh, just so many different forms and shapes. Look at this one again, spiraling with the Taurus. And in Fibonacci, just most fantastical stuff. It just... Then i seen this one. So what we're getting here is magged up, okay? A magnification close-up on the lattice work of the structure, which you would see 
on a shell. Okay. So the first thing I jumped to my mind is, oh, right, the radiolariums, the um, Rudy Marley, you know, being talking about for so long. Yeah, 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 I get it, I get it. I thought, well, I've actually, that reminds me of something. So I thought maybe I'd just have a look. And they're not too dissimilar. So take a look at that. So it's a microscopic image of a shell close up. And I've proposed the shells may be some sort of amplifier or communication device. And take a look at a Phoenician. Phoenicians have these, okay? You know, they've dug these up all over the place. And they have these, like, are these made of material? Yeah. These funky things on their ears, which we have actually proposed. There could be communication gear. But if you just uh, sort of take a look at the side bit here and the way it's designed. Now, uh, this bit here has got the hole and then the extended things, the hole and the extended things. Not completely dissimilar. So, just does out of interest, anyways, is what we do on Flight of Bray. So, some of these lattice works are just phenomenal. They create these houses for these creatures to live in their entire life, which are armor, which are like, you know, if you put it on a human scale, impenetrable. You know, this is fantastic stuff. Here it is. This one actually looks like a buckyball. But again, it's like the perfect geometry, and you know, you'll get perfect hexagons or just, you know, perfect, like, platonic solid type shapes, guys. It's just fantastic, fantastic stuff. Look. Oh, sorry, I can't get that bigger, but wow. And some examples of shells. And this. You see how it layers and tears? And there's the magnification there of the outside of a seashell. It's very technical looking, almost like, uh, you know, metal slides or something in a computer. No coinky dink. That is conductive. Check that one out. And another thing about shells. Okay. Even though you may have two shells of the same type of crab or whatever, mullus, um, no two are the same. I mean, it's shells are as individual, okay, as a snowdrop. I and mean, there will be slight differences even if you think they look the same they won't be because of when you go down to the smaller level it will always be different so each one is individual as well and look how they spiral look how they grow fractally it just it's that is like looking at you know one of those mandelbert sets <laughs> but yeah it's a um a beautiful shell and there's another magnification and again what do they remind you of hmm sharona uh, nothing more beautiful than a shell. And Venus, she pulls in, okay, Venus, who is possibly Lucifer, which is possibly a technology, a, a reset in doomsday device technology, um, on a shell. So is this some sort of, you know, we've seen a lot of Phoenician um, Renaissance art where the shell sort of used as trans, some type of transport. So there's one of um, Neil digress Tyson's eyes it's crying it is poppies poppies are sad so that was that was good sorry that don't go any bigger but it was a beautiful mermaid with a shell tail look at that in renaissance that so yeah you can drink out of uh, some sort of shells you can take away the dead in a giant clam in a medieval period so i can't blow that up and um Shells have yours. <laughs> Shells on the beach. So let's have a look at some more. There's another scrim show, excuse me, um, which is carving her out like they've done on whale bone, but in this case in a conical shell, which is beautiful. And conical shells are a bit different. They, You know, you can tap these and they sound like they're ceramic. They're beautiful. But look at that, the detail. Wow, fantastic stuff. And there's the orb down there, look, with the crucifer. <laughs> oh, oh that, I don't know, that got in there. Just like, I remember actually downloading this, but I think it's good advice for fashion of the future, being as it's all out on the table at the moment. The, you know, the fashion, I mean. <laughs> Again, perfect. See how they fit so snuggly. And look at that. Isn't That was the thumbnail I chose. I went looking for ages to nail a thumbnail for this gig, and I thought, look at that. Yeah? Shows it upside down perfectly in globe, and it's all like, ugh, in a um, snow globe. And it shows you, um, like, the actual flat earth and inside it. Curveless. Curveless show. So, let's move on.
So, Shell Grotto, so knowing how they heal and they're vibrating, you know, like bells, um, hell's bells, she sells seashells, shall, that's another, the shall is C-H-E-L-L, wow, how many permeations of the word? Um, they have grottos, shell grottos, they got one in Margate in England, uh, they got one in Wales in Pontypool. In fact, there's hundreds of these, and you get them in Portugal. This one in France, ones in France, where you can just this one in Margate. They don't know who built it, and there's like hundreds of thousands, nay, millions of shells all put around, very, very reminiscent of like um, oh, Paris catacombs. Oh, nice star thing going on. That's nice and the decoration of shells so some technology look it's even got an oculus and the roof is like the parthenon the shells they would definitely catch sound as well i feel because of the shape of them they're like years aren't they you know they have a raised the same shape of shells so this is the one in my gate and i bet it makes you feel good when you're walking in there i bet it's a healing place and you come out feeling all invigorated so the Phoenicians, they build mosaics using only shells also. And here they come riding in on their whales and not the country. I hope not. And then again, an entire ceiling. Oh, there's, oh, there's Lucifer. He's made an appearance. And these um, whales bringing in the Phoenicians and all four angels. Mount Meru. All of it is in there, coded. Even the Taurus, look, two opposing Tauruses, perfectly opposed. Ah, <gasps> wow, that's amazing. And here as well, the other Tauruses. They're showing the 10 vortex system on this ceiling. I can help. Personal mind splat. And I thought this looked like them flowers um, on the, on the um, festoons. You know, the flowers that flow, maybe representing the dead. Um, after the stealing of a civilization, the taking out of the golden era of Tataria, maybe that. Um, but I noticed these shells that are making that flower looks just like them flowers. I wonder if there's anything with that. And look, all of these shells, this doorway, absolutely fantastic stuff. Millions and millions of shells. This one's in Pontypool in Wales, and it's another building made out of shells, and it's a shell grotto. There you are. She sells. She sells, she sells on the she saw. And this is that one in Margate. And I thought, well, that's interesting. It looks like Serpent Mount in America. It's almost identical. And it's like a circuit board. It's like a city. And believe it or not, all of these are like, you know, little places you can walk into. And it's just, I thought, shit, that looks like a circuit. And it does look like a circuit. And now we're learning that, you know, these, you know, conduct electric, or like maybe poorly, but not altogether and compressed and very conducted under seawater. And I got to thinking, I thought, wow, what if it was like that, that this place is totally underwater and there's a way where they can tweak this place where survivors and stuff can just use the buildings, everything underwater, and have like an underwater world like they do in Aquaman. And the buildings would be active in seawater, so they would be able to, you know, generate electricity and free energy <laughs> i don't know anyway i'm coming back for a second see what you all think about things because i miss you sally scott absolutely okay um there's a lot with shells i couldn't show you all of it but it is an absolutely fascinating thing apart from them being beautiful um, the permeations for like health, <laughs> um, the metaphysical aspects, you know, the vibration. Uh, somebody I know got um, shells chiming um, in the back garden, and they do sound really beautiful, don't they? So, yeah, that's something that I've overlooked, and it's definitely, I think, part of the mechanism for circuit board cities. All of the walls and all of the mortar in the classical world can carry a charge. Dun dun! is you know giving a lot of weight to circuit board city simulation type scenario guys just saying it is it's like if you can interpret this technology the way we you know i do and a lot of you do now it's just like 
super fantastical future technology. Yeah, it's set in the past. It's just, it's just mad. It's brilliant. So good to see you all. 771 of you watching. It's absolutely fantastic of you to join. Um, Martin Shelfin. Shelling trough as usual. Sorry, my eyes, eyes are actually to shit. Good to see you, my birdie, my brother. Uh, bent over. <laughs> no. <laughs> ben, are you fucking sabotaging me with a name like that, mate? Is that your real name? That is terrible, Ben. What is your name, Ben Dover? I already asked. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Uh, Annie, Annie D, good to see you. Shells and water go together like kittens and milk. Cool, cool, cool. Um, hippie shakes, as I said. Carla Red Pill. As weird as this may sound, you had a shout in my new book. Yeah, and you're wondering why. Because the video you done maybe four years ago with a video that I covered concerning one of your videos. Um, so I just included it. I thought it'd be nice. I thought, me, thought you'd like it. Uh, Helen, good to see you as well. Rebecca, good to see you as well. Brian Jones. Nora. Hiya. Good to see you. Um, Psycho Dave. You as psycho as me, really, Dave. We'll have to put this to test one day, okay? Maybe when we, we go, when we just meet up and just go and wreck the world, shall we? Me first. Brian Tucker Martin is on a roll. We are on a roll. We're on a fantastical roll. It's not like this roller coaster ever, ever slowed down. Yeah, it's out of control, yo. Yeah, and you've all seen um, Final Destination. <laughs> uh, me joking. So I do like to joke. Ex Elemental, elemental, uh, shell grot. Oh, in Bristol, is there? Godney House. That's interesting, name, Godney House. Oh, cool. Didn't know that. Uh, Paul, good to see you, my friend. Trippy again. And my God, the silver. High humidity as well. That'd be an impact. Uh, love, good to see you, love. Jojo, Pushkin Castle. Very interesting. Um, would a rose smell sweet uh, with any other name cabbage rose phonies don't really smell um or oh, finny finnies no it don't smell much do they i don't know that's a really interesting question i have to think about that alex i have to get my brian around him no my brain just collapsed don't worry c wilson oh brink just flitting from one thing to another it's a very it's a very scatty thing Atty water world exactly like that imagine us all walking around like you know just carrying on as normal i don't know about burgers and stuff if you were eating them people do they float off and stuff so they'd have to have like water food like um soup <laughs> potato and leek soup you'd be able to grow cabbages you get soup uh oh fucking hell she does it again how did i miss that shell beach guys Dark City. Shall, shall Beach is not there, is it? Oh, ooh, fucking hell. I missed that. Thank you for that, Mel. Oh, fucking hell. Just splat my Brian then. Margaret Walter. Um <laughs> uh, Sketch. Sketch. It's cult. It's all they're all fucking in weird cults. They're all weirdos, man. Fucking hell. So they all got attached to bullshit and stuff. It's weird, isn't it? Bend over. <laughs> You're going to have to start commenting, mate. I'm not going to be able to read that out. <laughs> Alice in Tataria. She sells Sanctuary. It's fucking brilliant. I love the cult. They used to be the Seven Death cult, and then they dumped the Seven Death bit, and they just called itself the cult. She keeps you alive. Yeah, I used to blast that when I was a, a young person, which I was at one time. I, know. I still am. I mean, I'm in my Halcyon days now. I always was. <laughs> uh, Flat Earth Space Agency. I love that name. What's that? Um, more shell cheese, please. I don't know if shell cheese, but I guess it's a thing. Wales has beauty. Wales is absolutely beautiful. Agreed. Uh, Tony Sachs. I don't know what it says. Uh, Ben's over. Cool. What's up? <laughs> uh, Artichoke. 
T. Dezen and Helen Eager. Okay, we'll give me a few of you a shout. And my email address, if you do not know, is for shares and whatever else. Now, if you have wrote to me and it's like war and peace, it's just I don't have that time in reality. There's only 12 hours in a day. No, 12, 24 hours in a day. <laughs> Uh, so I can't, I just can't do it. I'm really busy and I, you know, fucking doing Matt League of things. So yeah, mattleaker 7 gmailcom I And mean, I'm hoping to get a website back very, very soon in time for Bookage, which is going to be out next week on Kindle and uh, very soon after on, uh, on Amazon. I will look at that in a little bit, in a bit. So, excuse me. Ugh. And Helen Edgar is here as well. And Moonpeach. Moonpeach.com. Okay. No, that's not a thing. Just saying. Amanda Morgan. Hi from um, Ammerford. Are you, Amanda? Oh, it's lovely. She's a Bellarod. Elsie King, sure. Good night. Good night, Elsie King. Don't fall off that ball, cobber. Uh, David White is here. Mucking Fuddles is always fucking muddled. Can't even fucking say it properly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we love you. Uh, beef critter, uh, Ben, what's that? What's that? Ben, oh, I fucking lost it. Oh, yeah, Ben Dover from Keysterville. Keysterville, <laughs> see what you did there. <laughs> uh, I don't, I guess, in humor, doesn't really translate, you know. Um, did anyone listen to Shells to hear the sea when they were little? I did, damn right, and I could hear it, but I'm not far from the sea, so that's. Not really fair. Um, Jack CJ Dreaming is here. It was Jackie, who was my friend in London Town. Yeah, Jack. Organising a meet in London Town. For true, for true. Um, and you're, you're my spa. So make sure you uh, you hitch along, gal. So Arwin is here. Uh, when the Great Flood Water to go? Where did the Great Water Flood go to? Okay. Um well, it receded, or it sank back down into the ground, or it went down into big plug holes in the ocean. So, <laughs> um, I am a karyos, electricity through buildings, ancient infrastructure and canals, tidal power, all of that, brother. You're working it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that must be fantastical. Retro. Good to see you, my brother. Isabel is here and Captain Rankin. Okay. No. Buckley, I'm gonna have a little bit of a giggle. Re, re, see dead. It might be just over my head again, like most things. Comes to you, uh, Tam. See you, and ooh, ooh, let me read that. Receded. Oh, I like that. Yeah, it receded. Oh yeah, fucking hell. They tell you, don't they? They receded when the water's re. <sighs> No, I've got to get up early in the fucking morning to catch you guys out. Jeez. And Karen and Preston's here. Okay, let's get on with some more juice on a flat day night. 777. That's not bad, is it? That's a, a good little uh, old thing going on there. Oh, I just burnt my fucking nose. <laughs> so that was pretty incorrect, that. Ow! Anyway, flat firms. Peace and love to you all. Make sure to share this out and get some more people over. Otherwise, they're going to miss all the fun. And they, they just... There's disclaimer, okay? Because I'm getting murdered. I got copyrighted last night. Check this out on my video on the Flat Earth British Think Tank channel. For um, them dancers that were doing them bendy dancing stuff, which was really, like, you know, mad. Um, but I took it off my own channel. And they're saying, like, they're copyrighting me. And it's on my channel. It's like, mm. well, didn't copyright it the first time I got it up on my channel. And it didn't say, just copyrighted my, for my own work, basically. Nathan Mad Oakley, yes, brother. I haven't seen you for ages. Good to see you, my friend. Lovely to see you. I hope it's all is good for you and the family. And um, Theo is here. And Andrew L. Demon. Um, she'll be riding six white horses when she comes. Something going on with that song. So, yeah, disclaimer. There will be no jugs at all, okay? Because I can't keep doing that because I keep getting kicked off YouTube. It's gonna have to go, just going to have to go jug dry. 
okay and um there will be no root content in this at all <laughs> i rubbed my nose body language means that might have been a little white lie matt yeah i'm a terrible i gotta watch my body language like fuck because if i was a porcupine i'd be like this all the time no i never done it was it you matt no nah, not want me <laughs> Yeah, I'm a reader of body language as well. Kills it, don't it? Kills it. People give the game right a fucking way. So, what? No boobs? No. Nathan, I was lying. Kind of flat with British block, but no jug age. Anyway, let's get in the way. Now, I've got a bit of beautiful, massive jugs. Oh, no, massive lies. Sorry, my eyes just <laughs> seen it as that. What's the matter with me? Some sort of hysterical blindness. <laughs> <coughs> anyway, <coughs> yeah, I'll slow down, Brian. Okay, I gotta get through this next bit. Yeah, so now we're gonna share some curio. Some of it is really incredible. I haven't seen any of this. In fact, then what we will be looking at. Um, to lead us up to images of the day, but I've got a bit of a thing that I put together for you. Um, to when you've had your like your laughing fits and you're not feeling like you know my stomach is hurting and then i'll just balance it up and then we'll have a, look, a good old cry together okay because it is really sad right i don't like to talk about it, it upsets me i feel sort of like horrible inside but why why are angels crying hmm? what are they crying for what happened yeah so i'm sad about angels crying so i want to put that in the rest because you're upsetting me okay so we'll have a look at that later. Make it all better for me. Because you don't like angels crying. Or anybody crying. Especially angels. Uh, anyway. Pushkin Castle says, I think there's a lot of fairy tales, uh, fairground rides, party games, and how they left clues for us. Uh, reminders because we forget the species when we come back. I'd say, I'd say 100%. Yeah, the fair definitely. Carnivals. And all of it is part of it. Okay, it's just we don't know. But they do. Okay, let's get um, on with the juicage. Okay. Buckle in and enjoy. Rum tea toodle, pina colada, half a pound of muesli. So we're going to have a look at some historical stuff. This is pretty funky. Oh, this paint is supposed to be from like um, the invasion or the siege of jerusalem by the emperor titus okay so this is not the vengeance of the emperor Vespasian. this is at an earlier time i want you to look inside of this renaissance picture and have a look what's going on inside buildings wise of the city of jerusalem yeah so this is um obviously set like in um what, what is the phoenician period um but um, a renaissance work look check the mud inside everything's mud and everything's mud and look at this height for these walls sure and what of what of these towers these semi submerged towers in mud this one tower and they're not obelisks these are like the ones you get in bologna um they're not even bell freeze or they are bell free they got a bell um we're laying down there so something hit it in the siege i guess in a bombardment but i'm just going on about this is a fantastical circuit board city fantastical more futuristic than today and that is in jerusalem looks like rome doesn't it oh no 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 this is the siege of jerusalem you know artwork and look at it the classical world this is why they got all of these um ribs you know these excuse me these columns you know it's to keep it all cool like you, you would get in a heat sink in a in a computer that keeps it all cool so it doesn't overheat because this place gets hot yeah look at this chasm comes all the way up all the way around bridge just unbelievable uh place you know, it looks like it's like actually below ground level in some places but look at that the size of them walls that tower and that isn't that a skyscraper isn't that a skyscraper What's, if they seen these in the renaissance world why didn't they fucking build them yeah look at that building there's a good idea should we build them sire so 
that is Titus, father of Vespasian, and an earlier siege. And I'm guessing that is not to avenge the murder of Jesus Christ, apparently. So, um, Jesuit clues. Now, I could, I was going to um, show you something maybe a bit later, so I have to see how we do for time, um, concerning Ovid. Um, like, somebody sent me the uh, English translation, um, but something is really off. Instantly, within a chapter, I noticed what it was, because it just went completely against the official narratives. Um, so, this is um, Jesuit allegory, and it tells you everything, can you? So it is a classy piece. You may have seen it before. Paradigm. With all of the codes Catholic it is. So oh. everything is in the mud and skeletons and bones and mud. You keep getting this thing with the dead rising. But remember to die. Yeah. Double dead. Be double dead. It'll be triple dead, fuck it. Dead already so yeah that's all below the ground level everyone's gone into mud floods so in this depiction all hell breaks loose so the angels sort of shit out like they're helping people out of the mud yeah let me help you so what they do just fly down and uh, help us all out yeah come into the bunker it's safe in here and the giants as well though all helpful like Come, little people. I have the key for the bunker. You have to wear some cacks, though. We can't take you like that. Why is everyone naked? And as you can see, the antique world is completely smashed. Just gone. It's just melted by something from above. Is it the dove from above? Well, I reckon sound can make people go insane. They use um, they used it in Panama City, didn't they? They kept playing Let's Dance by david bowie over and over again in panama city and they drove like the uh, crazy dictator there out or something so they use uh, sound as a weapon don't they and what you get is the phoenicians in the clouds and a vibration or a sound which makes everything you know this plasma obviously things are shooting down and burning everything but it makes everyone batshit crazy and kill and you got devils and demons materializing. But I'm guessing that could be just allegory for what people are like inside. Or maybe they do manifest in that way. So it's a crazy depiction. I'll be able to give you the link for this. You'll be able to scrutinize it more. Because I tell you what, there's a thousand things to see in this, but it's not really clear and good enough to show you. It gives you an idea of the complete and utter chaos of one of these resets before us there's a god dude with a scythe he's gonna call your ass call everybody i'm gonna kill kill em, ever i want just don't like us oh this got sent to me by lee yesterday it's like this is interesting lee so this is within a hop skip and a jump from the um world trade center in new york city and it's this fantastically big uh, tower with no windows at all yeah there's loads of narratives of what this secret building is they say it's you know nsa and it used to be some sort of communication hub um it's located in 33 thomas street in manhattan 33 thomas street it looks like that it is massive as well Okay, so um, yeah, um, this building is in 33, it's 550 foot tall. Wow. Um, and they said reportedly it used to be the hub for spying by the NSA, but it's you know not really established. And you go on, look at the size of this thing, no features, nothing. It looks like that tower out of Judge Dredd, they go into peach trees. Judge Dredd movie. Um, they reckon it was designed to withstand a nuclear blast and fallout. Well, that's not a thing, is it? Maybe a flood, but not not nukes, because that's all bullshit. So what is it? And these windows here. Is that a sound out? So that's a mystery, and there is no, you know, you cannot find out what this is. It's a smack in the middle of New York, you know, and nobody is just um 
obtrusion ventilation vent, vent in there, they say. It's massive building, 500 foot high. No windows. They say it's by her. They say you use for communications, security in space. So that's bullshit. So what's he really doing? A fucking mystery, that one. And there's the World Trade Center. Look, in the back, where uh, World One Trade Center. It's that, it's that close to it. We add... So, I'm going to share some things with you now. Um, I'll be able to put these links, because we like to do this on a Friday night. Um, I'll go through them briefly. I won't spend too much time on them. I just lost my live feed. Bugger. Of medieval manuscripts. They do show high strangeness and loads of clues. As you will see. Behold. Oh, another nautical maritime term. Behold. The hold. You know, the hold that holds the cargo. Behold. Maybe it's a hole full of bees. Yeah, that makes sense. So let's have a look at these. These are from the Bodleian Library. I'll be able to share this with you and you'll be able to link loads and loads more. And they're really early. Look, these are from 1400s. French Latin. And they show you the Phoenicians. And I'll show you the crazy things that go on. So this guy turns up with his happy hat. And um, look like Janus or Janus and his wife. You know, this guy's like, she's got a fag in her mouth. No. Um, one's got a beard, one hasn't. So they're not exactly Simon's twins. They're more Yazifa Breedlebrocks going on. And they've invited him in for tea. So it's all very civil. So, yeah, um, a lot of strange stuff going on in this in these books as I've gone scouting through. Ooh, I'll just warm my toasty feet by the fire. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. I don't know what they're in the background wood. Okay. So that is perfectly acceptable for the historical narrative. Warm your feet. And I get a couple of fish as well. As you would. As you would. But lovely, lovely, lovely colours and decoration. It's not overlook the Fibonacci put into the decoration. You don't miss anything, these peeps. So look, there's something happening here. Right. Um, getting the weeds up. Is there, is there some strange trees growing? Hmm, I don't know. As I said, it's all open for interpretation. And I don't speak ancient, you know, French Latin at all. I know I know somebody who does do a jolly good job. But it's not easy, apparently. So we got here a couple of twins. What are they doing? Maybe not twins. They just got stupid haircuts. Really bony. I think there's a bit of maybe man love going on there, as I had to even say. And kings, the sport of kings is falconry. For some reason, they like falcons. Right, let's get off that one. Well, it's confusing to my Brian. And the reason there's so many people is because of agriculture in the 14th century. Crop rotation in the 14th century. And giant, um, Jesus, giant lobsters. They're giant crabs, too. So uh, this one's about agriculture, I take it. So I have got a copy of the Doomsday Book. I was going through it the other day, but I can't read it. It's in a funny language. So there's your hot tub. Oh, no, making wine. Hmm. And weighing up what? What's she weighing? She's very careful. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 that's a bit heavy. Well, some things don't change, do they? Especially when it comes to scales. Slit that bull's throat. Squirt, squirt, squirt. We'll have that later. So that's the sort of things going on in the medieval era. It doesn't really look good. It's from the bottling library. In some sort of reset as well. They were daft as brushes back here in 1250. Because you get like 500 years later in the 1700s. Like highly technical human anatomy pictures. So let's have a look at the human anatomy. They've got the nerve endings. So that's quite interesting how they managed to nail them in 1200. Why don't they pull them out? And is this the vertebra? Let's have a look. One, two, three, four. Oh, it's difficult to say. Uh, possibly female. Difficult to determine. Yeah, yeah. And she's got a really funny look on her face. <laughs> I'm not actually sure what's going on there. So, yeah, this is the book of anatomy. But they got, like, these pictures. They're just brilliant. Look, his hat's upside down. He's had a mandala effect. He's like, it's really good. Like, so I don't know what part of the anatomy that is. Let's have a little go through. Um, oh, that's probably a spleen or something. So, yeah, ooh, I don't know. So, yeah, an ancient book of anatomy with P. 
people gurning and looking really daft because there's nothing daft in the Middle Ages. And some more Middle Ages books. I will link these up following the show. I'll get rid of the dead and kill everything. Oh, no, shit. I got it the other way around. They kill you. Get him. So King Pack of Dogs. Get him. And uh, somebody's dying. You get a lot of that. And the dog fetching the newspaper by the front door. That's always been a thing. Is a newspaper delivery man. And not paying them as well. That's always been a thing. Oh, so you can ride sort of llamas and you can ride other animals. Wow, this is post mud flood. One of the biggies. Noah's flood. Yeah, things are to shit. Lovely color though. And goals. Is that an am armadillo? There's a couple of cats. A couple of cool cats. Cool buckets. Okay, so I'll just link them up because I like to give books and stuff away for everyone to read. Now, um, I want to show you these. Let's just get off there. Don't look at them. Did you look? Let me come back and prepare you. Brace yourselves. Actually, prepare myself. Let me have a quick drink. Oh, my Brian. Oh, my Brian. What have I done to my Brian? I you dabbing. Good to see you, my friend. I am created. 854 of you watching. We got up to nearly 1,200. Uh, 1,139 people last weekend. Let's see if we can get up there again. It would help by sharing this out. I'm going to have a fantastic night. So next, I collect Ladybird books. Yeah, and I sell them on actually my eBay. Yeah, and Ladybird books are very informative books. They say for children. But yeah, the lorry ones and the tank ones, they're for dudes, obviously. So I collect Ladybird books. We're going to take a look at some examples of Ladybird books and other stuff. I hope not to offend anyone in any of this at all. Okay, so buckle in. Or we may learn something together about life. About the true, true nature of reality. Let me get rid of that banner. A banner. Okay, perfect. <laughs> anyway. Here. here we go okay now happy time okay flat firms keep your vibration up now if you're not smiling now okay you will be smiling in a minute okay good that is good news i do like to make people happy luckily oh dear 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 so yeah i got ladybird's um book about uh rumple foreskin that is epic have you read that story yeah rumple foreskin one of my favorites ladybird book oh oh she's getting a scan that's a pineal gland burnt out and even in the um, 18th century scoring is oh he's got a wicked two-tone suit on there and scoring is not going to happen. She's like, keep them fucking germs away from me. And they got blue masks on. In the 1700s, oh, guys. Now, this is a woman after my own heart. Just look how happy uh, Mona Lisa is. She's not a moaning anymore. <laughs> God love her. I'm so happy for her. She looks fucked mind don't she she looks right off of brian must be bad but anyway onward miss piggy is in all reality yeah she got sacked from pigs in space because it was shit kenny kenny hiya now she's actually venus she's hiding um a bit like off from the famous venus painting um and that's what she does now miss piggy is actually in reality venus with a penis this guy, I don't know. I think I just I don't know if it's my eyesight or if it, like is this picture just tripping on acid? I don't know. And this guy's laying around in his bundies on a nail bed. Now, why isn't the nail sticking in him? Why isn't he getting a prick? <laughs> I don't know. Do you know what it's to do with? Yeah, it's because he don't give a fuck and he's just relaxing and chilling, you know. Yeah, because he's a cool cat and they ain't gonna stick in him because the nails. Like, actually, I don't think we should do this guy because he's a bit too cool you know he's even cool too cool for us nails to even hurt men if you can't control your woman you found a really good one coaching yeah is that no i was gonna say i thought that was um Ooh. i can't remember her name 
if my vacuum cleaner had a wine cup holder, I might actually use it once in a while. All oh, right, well, I'll fit it with a wine cup holder. And where it, don't even go into things with vacuum cleaners. What is the real use? Too fat. The fat, the fat was too strong, windy day. <laughs> they don't make elastic like they used to. This is fucking terrible. They shouldn't even link in breaking wind and females in the same equation. That's just really, really wrong in anyone's reality, especially mine. Next. Weed. Cigarettes. Ah, oh, that's really nice, that picture. Mm, that's yummy. So they sell weed cigarettes in the past. That's absolutely fab. In the 1950s, by the look of it. And she looks fabulously healthy, I would say, radiating. Blossoming, I would say. Yeah. Glowing with that weed glow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, these are brilliant. Yeah. You haven't got to worry about your pointy nipples on a cold day anymore ladies okay you can buy a nipple bra yeah so now you can have that sensual no bra um look uh, while wearing a bra so basically you can put that over and you will have really big half inch little ends like the little end of your little finger long nipples and we all want that don't we <laughs> I don't like this. This guy's selling his perfume, yeah? I'm not even going to read it, but um, it's like a sort of questionnaire what I like and don't like so much about women. And they're all just really stupid anyway. A woman who talks about um, dieting all the time. Well, that don't fucking happen. They just don't stop eating. Um, who does crossword puzzles with ink? I'm guessing that is that day's equivalent to on the fucking phone all day. Um, a woman who jogs and tells. I'm not sure what that is, actually. Um, a woman whose perfume is too loud for her looks. <laughs> I don't think you're a Chanel woman, actually. Maybe more, of, more of a Charlie. <laughs> a woman who can press a mirror. Oh, pass, can't pass a mirror without looking into it. A woman who won't gossip. Well, that, that's up there. Um, a, who worries about getting her hair wet in the rain? Oh, that's bullshit. Um, who won't admit she reads cheap novels? Well, they do. They're all Mills and Boone in here up on the quiet in the toilet, ain't they? And um, who spent the last money on perfume? His perfume. Yeah. So he likes Mr. Perfume fucking mogul here. Um, a woman who seems to. <laughs> A woman who seems to listen, even if she isn't. So that's polite, isn't it? She actually pretended she gives a fuck. And she's not after my men. <laughs> a woman who knows uh, a good laugh. Oh, there. That's very... I appreciate that. Yeah, we've got to have a giggle. Hmm. Um, who can get gorgeously dressed in 15 minutes flat? Oh, I think that's fucking definitely a thing. A woman who can just get from out of a scruffy old pyjamas and look like a goddess in 15 minutes flat. In fact, it looks like she's got a sister hiding upstairs. Who the fuck are you? Yeah, in 15 minutes. That's a good thing. Who, who prefers almost anything to white wine? Oh, okay. Um, who dances great? Always important. Yeah, you've got to have a woman with rhythm. Yeah, can't have them wooden women yeah kind of, you know they want to get down and funky with a bit of rhythm and a woman who doesn't cry at weddings i don't know i i fucking cry at weddings well, people cry at weddings why yeah weddings gay yo and love clothes um but doesn't talk about them oh, yeah right in your fucking dreams and spent last money on perfume so it's good and bad because they're all giving the money to him he's a bit of a twat this guy and i really fucking no respect so this is the mentality of the 1970s well they did have david cassidy so just go with that um women will be prepared to go outside you're allowed outside now guys on their way <laughs> on their own without written authorization now you can spread your legs spread your wings <laughs> sorry one track mine now Today, it came up on my new news feed, and I will tell you now, it said that from June the 29th, 
you will be allowed to hug somebody. So you weren't allowed before then, you're not allowed to hug anybody. It also states that in Wales, from um, what date was it? Bring it up. Um, you will be allowed to have sex again because before then it was completely illegal. Did you know that? It's weird, isn't it, this round? No. Put some fun between your legs. Yeah, get a bicycle. I've been thinking about getting a bike. <laughs> Defiled by chickens. Yeah, right. This this has got to be... Um, we got to sort out what's going on here. She was powerless. She was terrified. She was defiled by chickens. <laughs> were the pullets guilty of foul play? Oh, I see what you did there. Or were they lured into a deadly game of lust and deceit? Yeah, lust and deceit. Oh, it's entire way. But Alexandra Trebek. So that's probably worth a read. I'm not quite sure. Let me, I just better check on tra chat. You might have all run away. No, it's 850 of you, typical. Anyway, what's my read? This is a really good one. I've never seen this one as a teenager. Um, tops in teen titters. That's a really good one. Stiffy! Gee, Stiffy, do you think those headlights uh, I have will fit my jalopy? So apparently this is not like, well, it's, I don't know. They don't know the context of the word Stiffy. Like they don't know a lot of the context of the words in America land. Yeah. We got a real big confusion about like hoods and bumpers and bonnets and front bits and back bits as well. There's a bit of a confusion going on with that as well, I'm finding. As you'll see. I wrecked your toilet. Yeah. Don't invite her around. <laughs> Just wait a few minutes. <laughs> I'm going go with her if I were you seriously. I'm not kidding. By Spanky McFarland. Spanky McFarland has got a dodgy taste in books. <laughs> Holy moly, Margie. I know the things you hear on Flat Earth British. I know. Well, cover your ears. <laughs> the TV's broke and it's pouring with rain. Oh, I don't got any books and the radio needs batteries. What shall we do? I don't know about you. I think I'll go for a wank <laughs> by Jack Offer. <laughs> Sorry, I don't even know I'm going to get away with this. Oh, it's a ladybird book. Yeah, this is my ladybird book free. Yeah, I was reading this. Anyway, onward. <clears throat> I wonder what up the bum means. <laughs> By crack, McNack. Sorry, uh, finisher. I saw. What about the weekly magazine, Cock Handler? Um, I got a friend who's got a hen, yeah, and he subscribed to British Cock Handlers magazine. Cock a doodle do. <laughs> Don't stop advice revealed. <laughs> Maybe that's something to do with that woman who got defiled by chickens. I don't know. Bitch, I just made that fucking bed by Dick Tingler. Yeah, you know, that's understandable, actually. If you just made that fucking bed, he's lolling all over it, making creases in it, yeah? Fucking bitch, get off the bed. She made it. <laughs> Lie. Oh, the Ladybird Book of Death Cults, an illustrated guide for children. Oh, that was brilliant, brilliant. Chapter one, Christianity. <laughs> Chapter two, hedocentricism. <laughs> Chapter three, BMW owners. I'm not sure what's happening with this. This is the American, you know, you may have been confused with the front bottom bit. But in this case, it's a front bottom. Would you argue with that? Case closed. We have no problems anymore. Stay fit and slim by taking amphetamines. I can feel an advert coming on. Stay fit and slim by taking amphetamine. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry about the psychosis later when you smash your house up. They say children should be seen and not heard. Opium, the fast-acting noise suppressant, knocks your kid clean out. Buy it at your local pharmacy. <laughs> Brighten your day. We're riddling. <laughs> she looks fucking happy, guys. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I'm going to get away with any of this. This is weird. Do you know Bernard dehydrated water? 
empty contents of can into one gallon of water, stir until dissolved, serve chilled or served. <laughs> All right, yeah. Well, my head's just fucked right up with that one. Okay, Manhattan style fish assholes. So you can buy curried fish assholes, but that's known anyway, and there's no surprise. It's a nice little symbol for fish assholes. And in Japan or China, you can drink magic penis wine. And no, it don't give you magic penis. Well, it might. And um, households, I think, come clean. It's a lotion. Big dicks, halfway in. Gift shop and lodging. Oh, this is a good one. Do you have tight nuts or a rusty tool? Then use WD-40. In the man size pressure pack. So it. Squirt, squirt. Rusty is gone. Marijuana. It's not just for hippies anymore. No shit. Am I getting away with any of this? I don't care anyway. Fucking long time dead. All of us. Oh, I, this was my first ever Ladybird book. Yeah, it was my first joint. I was like, fuck me, this is brilliant. This is absolutely brilliant. There are all like psychedelic pictures in there of like 60s go-go dancers and stuff. This is the stuff little boys want, you know, and my first joint. So as you can see, that made a profound impression on my life. <laughs> it's totally fucking fat, mate, big time. When somebody asks me, how's life going? I don't actually say that. Actually, I think they looked at your cat and he's saying, it's totally fucking fucked, mate, big time. This is... um. The way British people actually speak. Learn about garages, manual that is, or garages for dummies, which is needed. Magnum light. Mm, that looks quite tasty. <laughs> I love it. I love a magnum. Do you? <laughs> is it a shed? Is it a hat? It's both. Yeah, it's neither. It's shat. <laughs> the revolutionary <laughs> The revolutionary shell out has taken the world, the fashion and gardening industry by storm. I can see that taking on. Shat hats. And you can get it in um, Beer Box 9 Birmingham. I'd wear a shat hat. It's not a shed. It's not a hat. It's a happy shat hat. What do you reckon? Easy make. Totalitarian salads of fascism, communism and monotheism. By Brigonor Well. Author of despotic puddings. <laughs> I mean, it's despotic puddings would be a, a rather good one. Master Chef, kiss the cook. Oh, he's always so good. Tara card reads it. A lot of your problems of your own damn fault. Bitch, you better reshuffle. And she got a bitch, you better reshuffle face anyway. Okay, combat your cancer with baking soda. Did you know that baking soda, this is not funny by the way has been shown to fight off um i'll just say dancer because the analytics are killing everyone who says that stab off colds and flu and even treat radiation poisoning super smashing great iodine would do the same or for just a few pennies a day okay so this guy's selling it and it is baking soda because you can't get it on the local shop get the fucking baking soda in your cabbages hey eh? I got a lovely bit of groovy film I'm going to show you in a minute. Don't cry, though, okay? Don't mean to upset anyone. Don't cry, okay? Angels are crying. Why are they crying? What are they crying for? So we're going to address that, okay? I'm going to show you a video now. It'll be nice and relaxing for 10 minutes. I'm going to go off and fill my coffee cup. You are going to enjoy something that I put together at 3 o'clock this morning because I had, like, went asleep, like, dropped off early and then i woke up and was like fuck me what do no i know i'll get some of the best images i can find ever in reality which i did and um i put it together with beautiful music and if it emotionally moves me then it'll work for the peeps and it did so well uh, i know i do weird stuff anyway on with the show peace love to you all i fat image you gotta do that as well if you haven't done that you gotta do that it's like flat of British magic, or we better. 
Yeah, there's magic in the air. Can you feel it? So we will monopolize on that. Okay. I'm going to mute my microphone because it is um, a necessity when playing some music, and I will be back very, very shortly. We got images today. Don't miss, and there's lots of very informative juice and news and other stuff that we've been up to this week, and my interview yesterday, and everything else covered coming up. Okay.
Excuse me. So I guess that's my art form then. <laughs> it is beautiful. That is beautiful art and beautiful compositions. And I enjoyed the music too. So something a bit different. And I guess it's to balance all of that. My Ladybird book collection I went on before. <laughs> mm. 
but it is beautiful stuff guys you know beauty you know stuff like that to me you know if it, if they get you know you get a you know an emotional response then it is which i do with that stuff you know it's just absolutely sublime it is beautiful so it's not all crap in the realm guys it's brilliant stuff out there just gotta look haven't you well balanced i try i try isabel okay beautiful art music thank you denise you know it's not everyone's taste i guess if you didn't like formula one and nothing else that would piss you right up carlos one of my brother dragon sage magi art matters thank you and what's matt yo oh good jackie and I hat fairies 82 and Glenn and love and it's case eh? and hippie store you Ed Bragg you my brother your work precedes you oh, we are trying it is getting good though isn't it <laughs> okay so um, we're gonna have a look at what I've been up to this week now and some shares oh thanks Niven oh, I did see a comment there today very good thank you very much to appreciate it when it comes from the likes of you uh retro and lubu and i said that and david sampson so if i've missed any of you anyway i'll come back in a minute anyway we're gonna look at some images of the day and we're gonna look at what's been happening this week so i was in a hangout last night for a few hours talking about health matters and stuff um, and i learned a lot the guy had like these tesla units out um and like sparks coming out of these glass things and hitting him it was absolutely fantastic stuff that's all going to be shown hopefully very soon tomorrow or as soon as i get it over actually it's been edited um take some of the words out that will definitely get us struck off of uh youtube and i'm up of three strikes at the moment four in the last week my last video was struck off as well for my own content <laughs> yeah so um, that might not be a bad thing anyway <laughs> squirrel sniper Good to see you, my friend. Can't wait to meet you. So yeah, we're all gonna get we're gonna get together. It's not just a vision. I make this shit happen, and people, you know, it's we've been through fucking bollocks all year, and you know we kept it up and we kept it happy. We've had, you know, we've had a fantastic time. <laughs> so I think after all of this, we should meet. Anyway, on with the show. So what I've been up to, and uh, images of the day and other stuff, and see how we go for time. So, oh, shout out is my book. So now, um, this is going to be released on Kindle Tuesday coming after Bank Holiday Monday in Britain. And it's the Holy Grail of the Great Reset questions one, because there'll be questions two out. And it covers everything, mud flood, um, everything from mud flood to the war uh phoenicians and it just goes into everything and a thousand and one questions to definitely rock the boat um so later in that in the month a couple of weeks time you'll be able to get this on amazon and we'll be able to take pre-orders only for kindle not amazon just yet and i'll have the physical copy in my hands within the next few weeks and it will be out in a physical form when we have to take pre-orders this month now because it's may day um pinch punch first day of the month no return because it's first day of the month um sometime this month so it's all very exciting and something to look forward to okay it's going to be great we'll read some of this and uh, just look into it and as well because it's absolutely mind-blowing stuff as i'm sure you know you've been following flat with british a lot of you for quite a while and i've seen how this has panned out it's just been the most mind splattering thing ever so let's have a look at some artage and Images of the day. That's definitely the Phoenician Cherubinuskis. You've got the heart on. So there's uh, Phoenicians. They've been dug up out of the mud in antiquity. You get these in Persia as well. You've seen these. And they have these unbelievable headdresses, which I definitely think are an advanced form of communication of some sort. Or holographic. You know, you can see like a visor, a screen, you know, like a HUD, like a visual display unit or something like that. You know? Why not? No, no aliens, and if they are aliens, six one nineteen, they're extraterrestrials, as in in extra lands, because that's what extraterrestrial means. Um, unless they're waterborne, unless Martians are waterborne, 
okay it's been a ridiculous week on the realm for space as well you know like the chinese reckon they're putting up an, an iss type thing and it's flashy but you won't get any photographs ever on anything that has been built or anything just it's there it's complete and it's full of fucking chinese okay and um helicopters on mars and all of the stupidity and skinny as fuck shit in his pants neil degrasse tyson yeah who's gonna get served royally by our Eric Dubay anytime soon. I'm looking forward to that. Oh, Betty Bravo's there as well. He's, maybe they get someone in for him as well. He fucked them right up too. Royally, I love every second. Um, fishermen. Fishermen come up from the water. Maybe. And that's what Jackie just did to me. Okay, she's done a, a prairie thing, which is like a little, I don't know, pyramid. Some sort of technology going on with that. It lines up with the chakra anyway, doesn't it? That's what we do it, obviously. Duh. So yeah, I can imagine her after reset. The Phoenicians come in off the boat. They gotta have a big fuck off parade. Everyone making fuss, loads of drinking, music, and then it's just extending this into modern day and calling off festivals, carnivals, fates, fairs. That was just stated earlier on. Okay. And even, yeah, because like, you know, it is like Babylon. Um, they got a bed on the Actually, it was like that when I was in the Virginia. <laughs> so uh, bed waiting on the quayside. Bit of a lazy bit. Waiting. So the giants that built Russia, okay, and St. Petersburg, and their over ostentatious decoration. Okay, this is just the gate house for a palace. Interesting aerial. And um, I guess it was for Tsar Nicholas the Great, looking at the emblem. Um, look at the decoration. Now look at the size of these. It's a bit of the Roman world, isn't it? Just left over in Russia, classical world. And he's like needle. They have massive gates. Because it was giants walking around. As we'll have a look at in a minute. So yeah, they this is um when they sail in, these uh, Phoenicians. They got a guy who's on some sort of harpsy cord. This is a Renaissance picture, there'd be trouble because the harpsy cord didn't come to around till later. So I have high strangeness anyway. Looks like they've been somewhere tropical if they were lost. And if you have been wondering, we mentioned the plaques being mirrors. In this painting, they show you what they truly are, a mirror. Which is a big part of this, guys. You know, the mirror is a really, you know, spooky aspect to it all. As is the membrane aspect to it all. Um, well, that's looking at a dome from underneath, guys, but it just exhibits the flower of life. It's just perfect geometry. You want to just try and get head around how they fucking build this stuff so perfectly. You know, how do, how are they doing it? They're doing it from the outside. How, how are they marking it out? What, with air lines, you know, pencil marks in the air? You know, how are they doing this? How are they exhibiting this? It's just magical stuff. Uh, that winds me up. And I noticed they put a few statues in front of church windows as well, I've noticed. So that would definitely interfere with the uh, subtle energies. There's a load of uh, goddies or king and queeny stuff going on, which is always sinister. And the poor crying angels. Don't know what all that's about. What are they crying about? Yeah. And um, they got a lot of these books left over. We've seen these before on Flat Earth British, but this one in a looks like a sort of Italian type language and it's a giant book like obviously that's not for that chick to read because she would like put that on her lap and she would break her legs and um, reading that in front of uh, television she does. so yeah they get bigger so obviously giants need to get around don't they yeah so they're gonna need a map and this atlas and I've got loads of pages of this atlas because I was looking at the maps on there I've actually got a lot of them anyway but it just goes to show, like, you know, this is stupid. You're not going to make a book for fucking people because, you know, you've got to go through all this palaver, haven't you? Two of you. Yeah. And then it's dodgy. Yeah. You drop that shit now and rip a page. You know, you're gone. You know, creator of anything. You'd be creator of the door queue. What about this? So this is Mesoamerican bit of, you know, stone bash relief. Interesting. You know, it's got like the coaxi cattle thing on. What are these? pointy head beings see him again in a minute pointy head you don't get it skull mohican this guy got like a pointy cone head and none of them actually look like he's like a stick man but he's like melicillin again 
or the embranxis going on it's got the legs going up so even there the phoenicians in mesoamerica but they got the, the maze the maze and this is not a maze this is a circuit board i can show you it is a circuit board this whole conduity thing is, is an ancient technology and it's just been ripped off in the modern day with the computers but only lesser so they probably have quantum computers so a bit of egypt and they could build quality or make quality like that i don't know what it's made out of uh, but it's absolutely beautiful maybe ebony i don't know but it's beautiful flawless the gold hasn't rubbed off in all of that time since the fucking bronze age hasn't rubbed off and all in floods all in wars so yeah this was apparently dug up um, some this whatever if he is a guy he's got a happy hat on um and flying around on some sort of bullety thing i think they added that plastic visor but yeah so in antiquity they're showing you they had cool ply machines obviously probably had hoverboards i love this picture right it's just the look on these conservative americans it's like they're going to look at some classical art yeah and it's like he's think he's like look at the face on him he's like i'm gonna fuck her up when i get home why haven't she got a bum looks like that <laughs> and she's like why haven't i got a bum looks like that and he's like oh, it's really nice that art she's like i fucking hate that art i fucking hate it <laughs> that's olive off of uh, on the buses Oh, that's been unkind. Olive was probably a really nice person. So, yeah, even on a bench, you get the shells, seashell part of it. Definitely a technology. Definitely a bigger thing going on with it altogether. And in Thailand, they do the Phoenician thing too. They've got mermaids all over their river. Yeah. They just come up, look like little Krishna beings, doing the prey thing. And fish, yo. This guy, yeah. I don't like the look of his face. Yeah, I, I love everyone by default. Yeah, but I don't like this guy by default. I don't know. It's just his fucking face. There's something about him. He keeps a little man in a jar. Yeah, he reckons he got a shrunken dude. He's got a skeleton and it's that big. Yeah, that's really an effect. What did you do to this little man? What did you do? This is a sad story. I'm moving on. So, yeah, um, a way of protecting yourself in the past, okay, if somebody's going to try and stab you with a sword, which probably didn't happen ever, um, you've got um, alligator armor, which is fucking brilliant and looks really, really cool, yeah? Look, going into battle with your crocodile armor, yeah? You could do, like, a little dance, like, you know, a little um, robotic move with it. I would. I do the wave. Do the wave. The arm wave. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. And the hilts on swords, you know, they got it everywhere with the laurel leaf and this coding, even on the hilt of a sword. It's just absolutely everywhere in the classical world. Yeah. She's a bit cracked in the head, this one. It's female. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Again, a Phoenician pair of jugs well just one of them plural jug um i'm not sure how this is done with the glass this is that phoenician style glass which is that shot stuff inside i don't know how they do it i don't think it's the glazing technique because it's deep uh, but it's absolutely fabulous stuff beautiful i bet and you on your gravy your bisto okay served in a silver phoenician bisto server and there she is the whole of Babylon, yo. Or in this case, uh, the Statue of Liberty or whatever she is, it is. Or it is a incarnation of a um, Lucifer type character. <coughs> whatever. Okay. And then it is that concrete thing in New York City. Look at this fucking thing. Did anyone notice it being built? Or has it been invisible in reality just now? Because I've never heard of it. Yeah. I don't know, get on Google Earth and find out, go on a car park and nose and stuff. Do you think we'd be able to? As soon as we finish, I'm going on Google Earth. Fuck that. Look at that. This was this week in Istanbul. Yeah? That's a trippy, 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 trippy cloud, guys. What's things going on with that? It looks like just a big worm. I bet Lee Flat Earth British is like thinking, what the fuck is that right now? There could be a ship hiding in there. It could be something cloaked. Yeah? But um, it's Phoenicians, isn't it? Check it out. 
right over the biggest city in Europe. I mean, that's really, really trippy. Lee, what did you say? Exactly. Yes, exactly. So, yeah, they found a pair of Giants boots, okay? Um, he should have stood in one of them. That would have been better. It would have been cuter and funnier. Um, and, yeah, yeah, that, I would love the job of polishing them boots. I've got to think about polishing boots as well as classical art. Um, yeah, they have Giants boots. Imagine the size of that Giants. Fucking brilliant. I got to, This is the moment of the year. Okay, this is going to happen, yeah? So, Eric Dupé, yeah, Flat Earther extraordinaire, is going to really suit. And it's on. It is on. It's going to be on, yeah, because he's been called out. They made a movie calling him out. And he's like, what well, the fuck will I do now? Indeed, because you can't debate us. None of you can. So, you're in trouble, all of you. So, brown alert. The Queen sucking up to her other Masonic buddy, who's making the Masonic symbol, uh, John Boy. I seen him and he looked straight at me. And I was with my mate Nobby, I um, sat opposite the Catholic Church on a Cardiff Road in Cardiff when he came to Poncana Fields on his rock tour. Yeah. And he went past and my mate Nobby shouted, Oi, skinhead, joking around. And he looked over and gave us um, one of those blessy things. So it was like, I, nu I nudged Nobby, my mate. I was like, Yeah, we just got blessed, yo, by the Pope. It's like, yeah, I know, it's pretty good, isn't it? We actually thought we felt different and all that day. Yeah, I got first by curse my voodoo. So uh then he was all right. I didn't mind John Boy. I doubt he was a nonce. I I don't like to think so. We really what's she gonna do anyway without her royal jewels hanging around the house? A Lizzie. Well, not much. She's probably dead herself, isn't she? They're all gone. Look at this tower block, yeah? Yeah. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. Built on what exactly? On what? We just build this tower block on top of an old rock castle. Yeah, they've done that. That's amazing. I bet the road is on that level at the back of it. I bet you. I should not go in front of you. But yeah, there's an old wall, old castle, and a tower block. Bam, smack on top. I like that. Palmyra Arch. This is not water. This is just um, a bit of fuzzy and obscure. And um, can you imagine, like, you know, in the days of Babylon and, you know, when they went through these arches into, you know, through the Palmyra arch into the actual, you know, Baalbek and Babel and Palmyra. Um, look at that on top of the hill as well. It's a vitrified thought up there. Um, it must have been the maddest, biggest, fantastical society built for giants you can ever imagine these things are fucking fantastically big no humans can move these fucking blocks without well they can't even today either as far as i th i think this is the Hajj Sophia being the muslims the christians the byzantines have all had a little go in this and yeah, i've been in here it's fantastic and i had a dream about it as well some guy showed me the true was going to show me the true flat earth map up by the front door there and um he disappeared in a crowd i was like Fuck me, I nearly got the true map. Share, right, share, 29 years ago, yeah? So when she was on um, Witches of Eastwick, when she was looking all fluffy, yeah? Um, Who would you like the best on each? It has to be Share or Susan Sheridan, me, me and I, Cher. And now look at her, 70 fucking three. How much adrenochrome is she shooting up? She injecting it. Yeah, it's, uh, mind you, her tits are looking a bit flat. She's 73, no offense like. Look at her back in the day. Yeah, Sonny Bono said she was a mad slag. Um, like he went to be like a, a diplomat, didn't he, Sonny Bono? I got you, babe. Except when she used to go into the next room, shag one of the musicians, come back in and do her nails in front of like Sonny Bono, like nothing's fucking happened. She was a complete mad man. So, do you think Sonny, Cher, Cher, and Sonny, you know, think of the names, Sonny and Cher, do you think she's a boy? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Mm, let's have an examination. Of, let's try and investigate Cher, eh? Because she's not going to be duty if I could turn back time. <laughs> I'd give it all away. <laughs> Rather be canon, yo. Ooh. So there you are. There's Lucifer welcoming you into New York. New York, New York. Ooh. 
Oh, I feel a breeze. These are good. These are on a beach, I think. Yeah, and they're like little see-through stones. I don't know the exact process of them, but they have little like worlds inside them. And if you get like a mini microscope, there's like little tiny people living in there. No, really, there is. There's an entire universe inside them. Yeah, with tiny little people, like the huge little people and little cities. Yeah. So be careful if you find one of them on a beach because there's universes on like cities and countries inside them and worlds in a teardrop. Don't cry. And don't cry about the angels. Make it all better. So, yeah, if you were really, really a funky scientist in the 1800s, yeah, and you probably were on a lot of drugs looking at this thing, this is the microscope you would have. I love it. I love everything about it. Yeah. It's shiny in a chrome-like way. I love chrome shiny. Yeah. And it's got all like knobbly bits as well, and uh, silver bits. I fucking love it. That would be the microscope to have. I love it. She likes it too. That's a carved wooden bookend, and it's been nailed to the wall, like we are. It's a mermaid. Candlesticks. Yeah, you can have some crazy candlesticks. And this one has got a thing there. Um, I'm not quite sure. I think it might be a cross between a microscope and a candle because you want to illuminate your. You're viewing things. There's a viewer there, maybe. You know. But yeah, again, they're fucking crazy in Victoria. They don't build this stuff now, do they? It's on a wheel. I don't know. It's it's like um let's try and describe this geological location, shall we? It looks like one of those creams. You know, if you had like one of those things you squirt cream out with, yeah. So you squirt cream and then another bit of caramel, cream, squirt, caramel, squirt, cream, squirt, caramel, squirt, and you end up with this. I think it looks melted. But what do it look like in the beginning? What a strange geological chocolatey caramelly world that looks. I'm fucking getting hungry looking at that. So here's an interesting cameo, isn't it? She's actually showing you her are these ovaries and is this the reproductive system forgive me i'm just a man yeah and it told these things <laughs> there's so many things are hmm? i think they are you know yeah that's really interesting on account you know very educational too now this must have been a bloody big tree don't you think and that was a tree and that was a tree so how high would that have been never mind devil's rock Devil's Rock is baby tree, yo. That's tree. Yeah, I know. Shut, shut your mouth, Devil's Rock. And yeah, do you know, um, like, you imagine you're in, like, a post-reset world and, like, this, and it's not Viking and it's not Phoenician, but it just comes floating up the fucking river with these creepy alien-y looking dudes with elongated heads, yeah? Hmm? I went hang around to see if they was, like, you know, Take me to your leader, and we come in peace, lack. Because I don't think that's a reality in any fucking realm, you know. So there you are, the proof that mazes were circuit boards, I think. And, you know, the human Brian, and the synapses for the human Brian in a cathedral. Um, looking from above, that is absolutely fantastic. And some other church ones and buildings, ancient coinage, logoage. And the human Brian, and it's a circuit board. So our brains are electric, our bodies are electric. We're all electric. In fact, if you like connect yourself up to like like um on this show I was on last night, this guy's like electrocuting himself, and it's like, do you feel good? He's like, yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. So like you just sit there and like it has. I don't want to. Don't do this at home because you will die again. Double dead. Double dead. Don't be double dead. Will be once dead, double dead, dead. Um, so yeah, yeah, he just electrocuted himself, and he was like, Yeah, you can just, I feel fab, you louse, yeah, because you got fucking look at this. I don't know what kind of city this was, um, but I, I, I think it's safe to presume that either this is this is, has to be melted, there's no other explanation for it, okay? This is a tower and a large building site, a large city that's. Probably in the 
Sahara has got completely and utterly melted. It looks like something on a Mad Max, like there'd be a door down here you just drive in. Yeah? After the nuclear war, because it got melted. Nuclear bombs. This is in Arizona. Another melted mound. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha Got ya! That's on the moon, look. Yeah, got ya. Look at the stupid Kubrick line. Obviously, I just despair of the human race. I don't know what's going on. I hold them all in equal contempt at this stage, right? That's obviously a fucking backdrop picture. Yeah, the light, look. It's just so fucking annoying. And when they pull away, it just all disappears. There's no mountains or nothing. It's just like, I'll just go, go away. So I got a feeling in the past, the last of the giants got treated like shit and murdered and hunted down. I don't think there was many of them. And I think they were like, you know, like that Japanese video, John Lennon, uh, John Lennon, fuck me, John Levy uh, shows of that big Japanese giant that has been like people played up, people played up endlessly about it. Um, he got paraded around like circus freak as well. And like they're doing here in this, you know, Napoleonic Egypt depiction type thing. So I think they were treated like shit, the last of the survivors. I mean, it's in the right time frame as well. You know, the remainders of them, maybe the rest went back, hopefully. Here's another one in the, in the Muslim world, yeah? He's just being paraded like this, like Templar dude. He's parading this giant around. He's on a leash. Has he got his own weapon and shield? Yeah, maybe. He's still on a leash. Oh, shit. You know, it's not on, is it, guys? So I think the last giants were treated like shit. There's people standing on the dome, no, the statues. Fucking idols. There was the, the Age of Idols should be a title for something, because there was an Age of Idols. So how do you think that stone will haphazardly? Um, oh, wouldn't it be brilliant? I reckon it'd be much more fun if that like lost its balance and that person just went squish. <laughs> no, I'm not being unkind. It's fun. Yeah. Um how did he land there and how did he just stay there? Yeah, we've all seen the Italian job. I don't think that happened. Maybe it was just like dropped by a giant. Maybe it was flung in a biblical flood and just deposited on the sides of this mountain. Uh, either way, that's trippy. So these are, look like they would say, I guess they would say, balsamic configurations like you get in um, Giant's Causeway. But I don't see that. I see either something that looks like timbers, something that looks like it has a couple in here, 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 all in parallel, um, and even joints. You know, this is what's this is dovetail fucking joints. What's going on? It looks like timbers fossilized, but they say it's like um, you know basalt formation from the volcanicity. But I tell you what, that looks like some super futuristic wall of fucking ancient civilization to me. To me. Of something to me yeah oh wouldn't it be brilliant if that stone come down and squished that old bloke <laughs> i'm not being unkind it's fun how do you think it got deposited there how big is that stone underneath i bet that's massive of all the mud floods i bet that stone's massive i bet a giant was walking through this forest a couple of hundred years ago and decided to build himself a little dondrum of the stones to prove that the there's no Coriolis effect. We do them now, um, dol dolmens, um, and they stay there forever. And like just like this one, but only a giant could do it. So I think that's a giant's dolmen. And she's a leg of a chicken. They had big chickens in the past. No, they had big chickens in the past. There's a fucking bone off one. It's obviously not a dinosaur because they don't exist. Yeah, because they couldn't have reproduced because they can't. They never thought that bit out, you know, or eat or anything. It's a dino. Not. It's a fucking hand bone of a giant, guys. Obviously. I can't verify or confirm or deny that. It is reality. So, yeah. Clive the Car, I met yesterday and I had a hangout with for about three hours last night. We talked about everything. All the bullshittery going down. All my stuff. Our stuff. Um, and he does this stuff. I tell you what. I learned a lot. And it is something that I would share with you. Um, I have iodine already. For, uh, Sue Cadwell, I don't know if she's in chat, uh, fitted me up with a lot of this stuff, actually. Um, 
I don't actually use it, but it's there if I need it as a preventative or anything, because I wouldn't touch anything that a quack. I wouldn't go near a quack ever. Uh, so this is on brand new tube. I mean, he has a site that does like vitamins, magnesium, for uh, foreignate, and iodine, uh, sodium bicarbonate, and magnesium. Now, a lot of people are coming down with illnesses, and the only problem is, is they are magnesium deficient, okay, in some way, because um, of different types of this magnesium and it can be topped up and it can just you know a lot of it we have no new as i discussed with him last night you know with this hardly we eat we're eating like pigs or people are but there's no fucking nutrition in any of it because you know to get catch the nutrition you know you'd have to like dig the potato out and chuck it straight in the water and put it straight on the boil now that that is captured food that will taste fantastic that spud Okay, and that's how all of the food should, you know, be treated. You'll only have that vitamins and then full minerals and all of that on the, uh, that occasion. Um, and all of this other stuff that we get has got, you know, hardly any we've got minerals, but it's got hardly any vitamin content. And as we discussed, doctors have like 40 minutes um, in their like, you know, nine years of education. They have 40 minutes of nutritional studies. So they know shit all about nutrition when it's one of the most important factors for maintaining well-being, guys. Um, so this guy's, you know, he's got like a big YouTube channel as well. And he's going to, I'll link that up. Take a look. Um, and you can link up to, you know, his health thingies and that. And I'll give you more when I put the video up on Flat Earth British Think Tank the interview which was really good by the way guys it was buzzy as fuck and he showed us a lot of freaky inventions so make sure to catch up and um alternative which they don't like so that's why we'll show up here cbd oil you can get on my british think tank down down in the description box and it's my friend jilly and she does it and it is fantastic stuff so you're right out so let's cover this a little bit but not all because i want to cover some of it in my next vlog and it's too much and i want to time stamp it all this is the roman poem of ovid which is a clue when it says see ovid which is covid but it's like the city you know to see it see it and it'll all be in there it's a book about reset now it starts right that they say that this is so this is a jesuit translation um hundred or so years old okay um and they mentioned the globe or a globe and that's not true because the romans didn't do a globe and it didn't really come into the 1400s in any regard as far as we know um so you know if you imagine a dome over the top of us like a sphere and some sort of dome below us and we're on the flat plane in between like the uh, jewish the hebrew and eve you know a lot of um, ancient models show us then i guess that could be interpreted as some sort of a globe shape um, but a flat plane in the middle where the inertia plane is my mind urges me to speak of forms changed into new bodies ye gods for you also change them favor my undertakings and bring down one continued poem from the first origin of the world to my times very interesting check this out before the formation of the sea so five says there was no sea at some stage guys and the land and the heavens that covered all things there was throughout the entire universe only one aspect of nature which they called chaos a shapeless and unarranged mass and nothing but an inactive load just when before it settled this fits in with sedimentary earth idea um if it was all chaotic and all flying around and then as it settles because of density i would fit with that um and conflicting sources of elements not properly combined heaped together in the same place no sun as yet gave light to the world nor did the moon repair her new horns by increasing nor did the earth hang in the air spread around it isn't that interesting poised by its own weight mm. 
nor had the sea stretched its arms upon the extended border of the earth. And wherever there was land, there also was sea and air. Thus the earth was not firm, and the water had not adapted for swimming, the air devoid of light. Its appropriate form was permanently attached to no element. Its properly pro proper form remained to nothing. Now this really does scream manifestation of some sort of simulation, Ovid is saying. And one thing stood in the way of others because in the same body cold things were contending with hot, moist things with dry, soft things with hard, and things having weight with those without. Right. This conflict, God and a superior nature brought to an end, for he cut off the land from the heaven and the water from the land and separated the clear heavens from the dense atmosphere. And after he had disentangled these, he had drawn them out of the dark mass, where thus disunited he bound them together and their proper places by a harmonious peace and fiery force of the heaven convex and without weight sprung forth and chose a place to fix itself in the highest citadel of the world highest citadel of the world top of a table top of a mountain could be at the top of a mountain a flat plateau the axis monday the air is next to it in lightness and in place. Oh, good. That, that's uh, right. We needed that. And the earth is heavier than these. Okay, that makes sense because it's dense and muck. And along with it drew the gross element and was pressed together by its own weight. Oh, cool. No gravity nonsense. And the water flowed all around, took possession of the last places and confined the solid globe. Now, that can't be because um, the Romans didn't do that and didn't come along till like 1400s. Um, so I'm thinking that they mean, you know, the dome over the top um, because of the separation of atmosphere and waters. You know, it was like waters above the waters below thing that goes on in the Holy Bible. So it goes on. It's actually mind blowing. It's just so much of it. I can't even read it to you because I want to talk about it again and show you some images color images that I've actually got for uh, but you get a flavor but wow what's going on and it's Jesuit as well so I think there's just massive clues in this book about reset and it is about reset guys it, it tells you it's just when one you know the first world ends and a completely new one comes I think Lee might find that one a bit interesting concerning Ray um, maybe we'll read it a bit more then thus uh, when he whoever of the gods he he was had cut asunder the mass than arranged he had reduced it when cut asunder into separate members in the first place he collected the earth into the form of a great globe can't be for the roman world um that is might not be unequal in any direction might not be unequal in any direction uh, then he ordered the seas to be poured forth and to swell with furious winds and to surround the shores with the, with the encircled earth. The encircled earth, like you get a flat plane, like in the Hebrew model with a dome over the top and some sort of dome below. Just like a boat or a sealed cell or a submarine or a room. He also added springs and immense pools and lakes and uh, stopping banks he fenced off into downward rolling rivers, which in different places, uh, some of them absorbed by the earth itself, and the others run to the sea. Okay. Well, I'm going to read on because I'm getting bored if I can read it, and I've been doing talking for ages. But yeah, I'll cover that again this week on uh, Flat Earth British Think Tank channel. Okay, guys, we just come back for a second. Catch up with you all. Dun, 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 dun. Happy flat a day. So we got 789 of you. Don't think we, I think we have. Don't know. But thanks for joining anyway. Happy flat day. Hope you enjoyed yourself. 
and I hope you've had a giggle. I hope you've actually felt something. I really need to eat soon. I hope you've actually felt something inside, Moshe. I hope I've triggered some, you know, emotional response in you. Some happiness is what we want. So let's give you all a shout. Bend over. Fasting is the biggest health secret. Just purge your body and it's needed now and again. Um, hippie shake. Food might be fucking killing us. You know, it probably is actually. Where everyone's eating like pigs and there's no nutrition in it. That's the weird thing. So they can eat as much as they want, but they're not going to get well or healthy because basically um, there's no nutrition. They're just going to get back to the doctors. You are. I'll give you this forever. And I get a Christmas bonus from Big Pharma. See people, says Brian. Girl from Anatolia. Oh, hi there. Um, is it cold to in the UK? Yes, yeah, cold everywhere, love. Um, in America, parts of America, like Ohio, somebody told me it was freezing. And they're expecting, like, spring. Um, I think Sonia said she went out for the first time, or somebody did, um, in the without a coat on, first day in America. You know, it's just like it was boiling last year. Fucking sun's losing its juice, guys. Could be sold a minimum, all right? Uh, Carla still here. Good to see you, lovely Carla Red Pillage. My sister... Murphy, Murphys, Johnny Murphys, <laughs> I'm Johnny Murphys, um, actual proof, um, hi, I'm my Estonian brother, are you, you could be a relative of mine, if I was from Tallinn, you could be my cousin, yeah, that'd be epic, you are my cousin, you are now anyway, because we're late, happy shake, she's talking to Sonia, uh, space, Fighter Space Agency, electric shell armor will be dope. Fucking dope. You know it, my brother. Bent over. 666. Don't know what he said. Just squizzed off. Oh, Lee. Solar minimum. I just said that, Lee. You read my Brian. I love to eat apples and bananas. Me too. I love fruit. Just have fruit every day if you can, but don't worry about that. Ten a day thing they invented. That's just making buy shit. You know, um, if we could, like, you know, shop at these farms and stuff and just have proper organic food, we would really, really thrive, you know. It's hard to catch it healthy. It's hard to catch it unsprayed. And fucking Monsanto got his hands on most of the pips and seeds, yeah, you know. So it's all, like, on gen genetically altered. And it's hardly anything of the original foods. You know, 100 years ago, people must have been really healthy. It's bullshit that they weren't. You know, imagine the soups. Fresh carrots, fresh, proper proper potatoes ah oh, it must have been out of this world guys uh thanks for the magic again yeah well pff, this is what we do this is like can you feel the magic in the air or is it just me i don't know i just feel like something special is coming something really special is happening that's what i feel like yeah and the, you know the importance of things and stuff is not lost on me is what i'm saying i think gary white T-Y-Y, it makes it poignant, don't it? It makes it like fucking real shit, you know? We're not pissing around here, guys. This is the real thing. 177. We're in a pandemic. We are the resistance, by all accounts. Shadow Master 22. Let's know of another one. Jughead. Else Bell's my brother. Skull and Bones. Um, it's easy to blow the clouds away, especially I do it all the time. I do have practice cloud bursting forever and it always works. Always. I'm brilliant at it. If you blow a cloud, just a little one, choose one. Don't take long. You can even make them go like they do in Men of Stare of Goats, which is epic, by the way. Um, just by the mind, you're Brian, make them clouds fuck the fuck off. That was too many facts. One fact would have done, make them fuck off. Okay. Uh, Squirtle Sniper, good to see my friend. I'm sure I had more pictures than that. I don't know. What time is it now? I have been talking for approximately two and a half hours. I don't think I'll be going for three hours. don't know. See how I feel. Ugh. I'm a bit tired. Um, Dragon Sage, Water Truth, Flight of British Mind speaking. I'm not naughty, am I? I'm a little bit naughty. Be all right. Uh, Worldwide Ghost. Not reading my comments, Martin. Oh, no. No, I'm not. I ignored you. 
I just read your comment. Don't worry. I'm not, I don't ever deliberately ignore anyone. If anyone's offended because I got back to the emails or anything, just don't be. Just know that I have psychically sent you love bombs just for even writing. Okay, this is happens as natural. So don't even worry about it. You're in. You're you. You're, 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 I'm you. Something. Seven Ontario Sasquatchich. He's Maxage. It's raining in Oregon. It's pissing down here earlier. I had massive black clouds. You're horrible. I tell you what, clouds do what they look like. It's pissed down. Harry Stoned, uh, star shining good. No, not tonight. Uh, J Joe, oh yo yo, Jojo. Spitting feathers. I have to go. Um, having bad diarrhea lately. Oh, let's talk about that, Harry. <laughs> Mate, if I did have the shit, which I never ever do, I won't be telling any fucking body about it. Yeah? You're nobody gives a fuck about your squirty bum, mate. Yeah? Apart from your toilet. <laughs> Things have come up in my chat feed. Oh yeah, and me. And me. I got piles I have. There's something else I've never had. The tree of knowledge. Who went from freezing temperatures, um, slamming into ninety into the eighties and nineties in a week? Yeah, no, it's fucking mental, isn't it? That was you talked about that crazy weather. It's me. It's not. So happy flatter day. Did I say that? And pinch punch, pinch punch. First day of the month, no return. You can't do it back. It's the rules. Okay, these these rules are rules that should never be broken. Okay, like the Bagsy's rule, yeah? I Bagsy that first. It's yours, yeah? Possession's nine tenths of the law. I seen it first. Same with women. I seen the first rule. Always <laughs> comes through. <laughs> I seen it first. No, that's a stupid rule. That don't work, do it? Yeah, it might work, actually. I think I... Did I invent that? No, 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 no. No, it's been around thousands of years, isn't it? Reset after reset. Some things do not change. Cynthia Bancroft, how is your sister? Anne? She killed it in that film. Bill. No. Don't mention it. Don't mention it. It's not real. None of them are real. They're not real. None of them are. Don't you get it? It's all bullshit. It's all fucking... Go, go and fucking send an email to Bill and see if he's real. He's not real. Okay? So anyway, I said that. Carrie, you killed it in that film. Sorry about the bucket. That's a bit really horrible bit anyway. Hot in Arizona. Oh, and you fucking jam me. Don't rub it in. When Costa Tel Cardiff, yeah, they haven't. They said, Do you know um, the Queen? Yeah, she'd been raining for 50 years, like literally raining. Is it 50 years? 1950? Fucking hell, 70 years. She's fucking gone. She's out of trouble when she comes to do this. Um, this coronation or whatever she's doing, this jubilee, they'll have to fucking animate her. Nobody, that's it, they'll lock the whole of civilization down. Nobody can go out and witness the queen going down the mall because it's not going to be her, it'll be a robot queen. Queen bot. Uh, thank you, Carlos. Thank you, all of you, for a fantastic night. Um, what's that? Saturday is the Sabbath. Well, I play, I play Aussie every day of the week, mate. It doesn't have to just particularly be on a Saturday. Generals gathered in their masses. Proper truther. Proper truthers. They were. I'll tell you another track I like is The Seeker by The Who. Do you like The Seeker? The Who? That's a truth in track. Tra track. I want to find the key to 50 million people. So when, when was that song out? 50 million people, 1973. Fucking population shot up since then. There's like a billion more people, they say, in on the plane since 1999, they say. And they say there'll be a billion more as well. They make that shit up, obviously. Uh, they come to census as well. Sally Scott, um, 420 to you as well. I think that's what you said. Lee 64. Thanks, Blue Sky. QSNs. Jim Ward. And Paul Yates. Oh, I was playing in excess earlier, and I was actually thinking about Paul Yates. Now, somebody said to her in an interview, did you really, like, go all weird on that sex mad stuff and end up strangling yourselves and stuff on opium and dying and everything? And she was like, fuck no. Where did you read that in the newspapers? And it was like, yeah. It's like, well, yeah, exactly. 
So, like, you know, it's doubtful whether any of that shit actually happened, like with Hutchinson and, um, you know, Paulie Yates. Not Paul Yates, Paulie Yates. Uh, because basically they were sensationalized by the newspapers and just battered, yeah? Although he did come up dead later, but that's going to happen with a rock star like him. He's pushing his luck, wasn't he, Michael Hutchins? Fuck you, know. It's like, uh, who's going to stop me? We fucking are, is what happened with him. Oh, they get rid of all the good ones, I reckon. I'm not saying he was a good one. Probably demonic. I'm just saying he was a good musician. Um, singer. Do, do, good stadium fillers. You know, so that's my demons. Good to see you. And before my Brian melts, like, who come to destroy my beautiful wickedness moment? And all of me will just melt. Um, that won't happen anyway. Um, I'll go. So thank you everybody for joining. It's been a fabulous night. I love flatter days. I love the love, and I was excited. I hope you enjoyed my my ladybird collection. I'll show you some more of them at some time. But I'll have to like you know get some worse ones because they were a bit tame then, weren't they? You know. So we'll get you know ones that got some humour in them. Uh, fasting. Oh, I've read that. Okay, I'm done. Stephen Clark, good to see you. And messages coming. It's a good time now. Okay. Let's see if they cut any of this fucking video up. My last one. Oh, a passion, my bro. What's happening? All right, bro? Yes, yes. Good to hear you as well, my brother. I hope everything's all right up there. It's going to rose. It's going to bones. Plasma fans. And so, anybody's watching now, 700 odd of you, if you want me to say ta and all of, you know, all the shouty business, say something now in chat. Just say an oi or um, whatever. And then I can see who's here. Because he was lurking in the background, watching all my and seeing what nutty shit he's getting up to. Is that why you're doing it? Is that why you're watching me? Yeah. And Mary and Burn and Grow. Hi, Martin. A little late. Um, yeah, you are a little late, actually. I'm going to shit off now because basically I've run out of steam and I've done three vlogs this week. Loads of hours. Loads for you to um, look at. Get over on the Flat Earth British Think Tank channel if you want more Flat Earth British. Watch my vlog a day ago, which was really good. Everyone said. Oi, 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 Susan J. And KK Westbury, love to you too, sweetness. And uh, thank you, Matt, uh, you brother Martin. Thank you as well, Stone Diary. Lee Melich. And Think Tank. That'd be very special. Beautiful people. Oh, I feel all sad. I feel like a moment when I was looking at the sad angels. I don't want anyone crying, especially women, especially angel women. I've sort that out, but do something about that. I want to have them laughing. But fucking, that's the next thing in reality. You've sort of crying angels out, and I'm having none of that. She got helicopters. <laughs> Ooga booga to you too, Glenn. Chicken bones, Glenn. Did you see the size of them chicken bones? Fucking hell, man. We'll flatten this curve now with a fucking sledgehammer. Don't worry about that, mate. Uh, JT. He's fucking him up royally. It's embarrassing at this stage. I've got to stop giggling to myself, though, because that's cruel, isn't it? I don't want to be cruel, because that would be like being like them. So I've got to stop giggling to myself. It's not that amusing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, yeah, you're still here. Good, good, good. Uh, kitty, kitty, meow. Woof, woof. And Gary Felton. Nice one, Gary. Careful with that, though. Uh, bend over. Get... Watch out, Gary, you've got to bend over behind you. <laughs> uh, don't drop the soap, Um, OG Scotty. Uh, at Matters Nightmate. Thanks, Michelle. Thanks for your email. Thanks for your support. And also Jenny, who is lovely Jenny, who is living in the midst. Okay, and she lives up to her name. These are beautiful human beings, guys. So we're very lucky to have them along. All of you, actually. Um, feel lucky to have met her, all of you any of you um and drell see you i love babies um and costello love Alvin costello and i love lauren Hardy. oh they're brilliant it's the best ever screw sniper um bob geldoff sold his soul and cost his daughter on her 21st birthday i was thinking about that too peaches man you know he was a bastard wasn't he you know what you know soon as i seen him with margaret thatcher and he's slagging her off i was like oh he's fucking one of them i knew then even then at that age i was like oh yeah he's with her 
because I knew that you wouldn't be allowed to, you know. And he's like, and then when I was in the Merchant Navy, then guys, check this out. It's in Rotterdam in the Siemens mission, and this guy from Hamburg, this German guy, um, he was on these ships that were taking the stuff out to Live Aid. So they'd spent the money, filled ships up with food. He said, no, 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 none of it went to fucking um, Ethiopia. None of it got there. So what happened? He said, oh, they fucking unloaded a load in Egypt. They unloaded a, lot, a load in Sudan, and it was all sold off. It was just a fucking get a scam. They never. So it was like, was this famine real, all of that footage? And he's like, well, if it was, man, they never fucking went there, and they never paid you no attention. So it was just a scam. And I tell you, when he told me that, my skin crawled. I said to God, I felt like, just couldn't believe it. You know, it was a bit of a truth bomb, even then, like, you know. So I fucking had none of it got there. He's like, no, man. He said, we were unloading it in Sudan, selling it off, the whole cargo. None of it was going there. So that was a fucking load of bullshit. They should feel shame, all them stars that took part in that. Feed the world, because we're all skin and we need money. Feed the it's been blood boiled all that. Um, there she is, loving the mates. Beautiful human being. Gary, fat man. Um, it ain't over till the fat lady sings, and she's about to sing. Ho hopefully, um, to Eric to Bay. <laughs> Straight truth. I love that when somebody says truth is with a double O T H E R. I think we should use that. Um, just like Haiti, you in Haiti? Wild. Uh, Tommy, Tommy poetry, yeah, actors and singers saving the world, bullshit, yeah, fucking wankers, all of them, yeah, really annoying to me. And the way the people idolise them and put them up on a status and every bit of it's thick, and these guys, you know, these, or sign an autograph like fucking Bowie and all the rest of them, they're like lower than a snake's belly, yeah, you wouldn't piss on one of these people if they were on fire, fuck them, all. Fucking judgments coming, guys. The wheat from the chaff. Yeah, Hollywood is gone. They fucked it. Didn't like them anyway. It's all bullshit. CGI. Gone are the great days of uh, you know Cecil Beads and Mel movies, aren't they? <sighs> anyway, stop ranting, Matt, and get off. Get some coffee and get some food. Is what I'm going to do. Paint FEB everywhere. Yeah, don't. Don't condone vandalism, Steve, on my channel, Steve-o. Okay? But, yeah, do that. <laughs> How fat really matter? No, 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 we don't. Okay? I don't mind, and you don't matter. Mind over matter. You see how that works? Um, I won't miss Hollywood. I don't care if I won't watch one ever again. It's fucking shit. And then, you know, they're just like guys and gals dressed in stupid costumes in a room with a green screen. Green screen. Stabbed. I bet they look really fucking stupid in the morning having their Starbucks coffee and talking about their, you know, same old fucking boring shit they've come up with forever because they've got nothing else because they're boring people. Actors are really boring people, very shallow. Yeah, that's why they go into it. That's why they want to act other people because they haven't got any personality they fucking selves because they're narcissistic. They have to be narcissistic, probably. Um, just another cup of coffee. I gotta get going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel my brain's like sort of tingling and stuff now. I don't know what's going on. Tiredness. And I was up till half past one last night on an interview. And then after that, I'd done that video, thinking of you lot. Uh, so I was like fucking knackered. Uh. QS and Erp. Peace and Alicapa. Um, break a leg, Cynthia. Yes, break a leg. Do break a leg. Cynthia, do break a leg, bastards, and they're all lovey, aren't they? You know, oh darling, if they fucking darling me, I'd be like, what the fuck are you want about? I want, I'm not being rude, but like, don't fucking darling me. Fucking hell, really annoying, and they, and they're all posh. Not that I got anything against posh people, like it's just they are. They're all lovey, kissy, <laughs> creepy, ain't it, guys? Anyway, I gotta go. Enough slagging off actors and the establishment. Not really. I'm never going to give up on them. Uh, to the gone. Anyway, I'm just talking for the sake of talking. Now I got to get going, guys. So thank you, um, whoever gave me that. That was Flat Lake Media Super Sticker. Give me fifty bucks. Eh? So thank you so much for that. That would really help my rent. And um, that's me. So much love, Rodrigo. 
Hope you enjoyed the night. Okay, let's get out of here. Keep that magic sizzling. Okay, I'll be back in a day or two. So I've got more to show you, which I haven't showed you in this on Flat Earth British Think Tank channel. Just give you a chance to catch up. Nosta Jenny, Nosta Fritz, Nosta Bunny Love. Yeah, I'll go and see my teeth, my bunny. Now she gets all like funny if I don't give her loves on the hour, every hour. She's like, You don't love me anymore, Matt. I'm like, yeah, because I fucking love you. Come here. She's like, It's like heartbreaking, you cute, really criminal, you cute. Fucking got you. Oh, thanks, Lottie. I, I'm glad. So I hope you do laugh. That's what I love to do. I love to make people happy, make them laugh. It's one of my passions in life. Okay, i got to get going. Peace and love to you all. Be good. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Okay? And flat thumbs. And keep your vibration up. Fuck them. With bells on.